Hey guys, I think we're live. I think everything's kind of going on. So, as you already know, we've been, if you've looked at the, uh, the thumbnail, we're reviewing what we're going to build uh, for Predict Drive, the new Harry Potter set. This is probably the most expensive, this is the most expensive Harry Potter set I've bought. Well, the CMF series, if you can count that. But um, yeah, so we're going to build this. We've got an hour and a half and do 7 30 till 9. So, I'm going to get Steph to help me build it tonight. I don't know who's joining. I've invited a couple of people. They may turn up, they may not, because it's a bit of People are getting a bit busy and I would be working weeks and stuff. So, but um, yeah, I just thought I'd kind of have a chat with you guys. So whilst you open this and I'll check the uh, yeah. the chat. So looking at the latest chat, I think we've got loads of people in the chat by the looks of it. So I'm going to scroll all the way to the top. So hi, Daily Brick. Hi, Sean's Lego channel. Hi, Generic Stud. Hey, Mahan. Uh, keep scrolling down. There's been lots of conversations on this. Uh, everyone's talking about the Mickey Mouse thing by the looks of it. Uh, keep going. Hi, Sir Brickalot. Hi, Cab Bricks. He's in here as well. Hey, Dog Lover. Hey, CB Bricks. Loads of people in here tonight. Brilliant. Hi, Bricksloth. Hi, Catherine. I think that's everyone. Hi, Jack Studios. Oh, and then we've got Simon Moss. Hi, Simon. How's it going? Hi, Leopard Destroyer. And hi, Xantic Dragon. Loads of people here. So we'll try and be try and not be too noisy while we get all these uh, sets in order. So there's five bags in total on this. Five bags. So we've got to try and build this in an hour and a half. So I've got Steph here, so it might be slower, might be faster, I don't know. So let's start from uh, where should we start from in the chat? First. All right, I'm just gonna start from scratch now. So Bricklicker just said, hey everyone. So obviously, there's Bricklicker. I don't know what's. <laughs> CV's Brick says, at this rate, you're, you're, you're soon able to pass London Bridge Bricks. Don't say that. He, uh, he might get offended by that. Um, but yeah, we, me and London Bridge Bricks are actually doing quite a lot of collabs in the near future. We've got quite a few sets lined up to do. And um, if you check out my Lego haul videos, I mentioned quite a lot of them, uh, which we're working on. So we're working on doing some pretty cool stuff together. We've got loads of ideas going forward. Me, Brick, Clicker, and Jerry still got quite some quite good stuff coming in the future as well. But obviously, everyone's getting a bit busier now as well with kind of lives going back to normal a little bit. So obviously, I think Generic Stud's doing um, editing his videos tonight because he hasn't done one in a while, so he wants to get that out. So he might pop in later. I've asked uh, London Bridge Bricks. I think he's obviously got a new job, so he might be a bit um, a bit um, tied up as well at the moment. I'm not too sure about uh, Brick Clicker, and I've also asked uh, Rogue. He might pop in as well later. But whilst it's just me, I think I might change the camera and try this again. Hopefully it won't break to mm -hmm. having the over the head one. Hopefully that works. Let me know if the sound goes funny. I know sometimes the sound goes funny if I change it to this one. But let's see what's going in. Should I just say hi, Brick Clicker? Uh, so, Simon said, with Steph there, you'll build it correctly. Well, that's true. Yeah, that's, well. Yeah, maybe, no maybe <laughs> build it correctly. I won't be building it, it'll, it'll be uh, it'll be Steph. So. Sean said, the Millennium Falcon is huge. Yep, that's the, the UCS one. I try not to flex it too much, but it is my favorite set, so I'll put it behind us for now. It's actually because we're actually rearranging this room at the moment because we're gonna be moving all of this upstairs. So I've kind of tried to move half of my set that was behind the camera there, and so I've got more space to move around. So that's why it's all kind of, I'm not really putting them there just to show off, although it does look kind of cool, but it was more to do the fact that I'm going to be moving it all around. So, so yeah, Mahan's lots of love for Brick Clicker in the, in the thing. Hello there, Brick Clicker. Uh, CB Bricks asked, am I going to be on London Corner on Friday? Yes, I am. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be building on Friday, actually. I might build a couple of the 1799 sets ready for my mini build Mondays. Um, because I've got that dinosaur one, the new Jurassic Park one, and uh, a couple of the minifig sets, I might do them as well. Favorite thing? Oh, stickers. Oh, that's not too bad. So that's the sticker sheet for the uh, for the set. They're not too bad. That looks like most of them are actually for the door and under the stairs, by the looks of it. So that's stickers. not too bad. Which one's what's that for? Is that for the car? Yeah, I'll do that in a second. Oh, London Bridge Bricks is on now. Mohan says mod rogue runner. Is oh, is rogue runner not a mod? I will double check that and make sure he is. Thank you for letting me know. Seeing as he comes on most of the time, I will, uh, there we go, he should be a moderator now. Oh, there's London Bridge Bricks now. There you go, mate. 
how's it going? People were just asking if I was going to be on your live stream on Friday, which I am, definitely. Rogue Runner's there, Brick Sloth's in the house. <laughs> Doug Lewis says there are more moderators than people who aren't mods. Yeah, that's actually because um, the other week when we were doing the Haunted House, there was a point where I had zero mods on because we had a lot of people who were new to the channel who wanted to come and look at the Haunted House. So that's when I first did my first super mods, which are basically a lot of you guys from the from the start of the channel. So it's basically from there. Um, so yeah, I haven't added any since. I just made Mahan a mod because there was a little bit of a arguments going on in the chat. So I just thought it was quite funny. So uh, so yeah, so Gallagade's in. Hi, how's it going? So it says, hi, Chris, and, and hi, Mrs. Brickinit. So this is Steph, but she does have an account now called Mrs. Brickinit. So if you, see her, <laughs> if you see her commenting, it is her channel. Um, so yeah, all good. People are saying, showing love for Greg. Bricks Lost said he's ordered pizza tiles for no more fried eggs over crab, apparently. Oh. And talking to the devil, there is Rogue Runners just joined now, so I'm going to add him into the call. There we go. Well, with well, his castle. Guess, you right, mate? How's it going? I guess I'm going to change my name to the devil now, which is fantastic. But yeah, I'm all good. How are you doing? How's it going? Good, good. Yeah, not bad, mate. Not bad at all. Yeah, I not thought I'd play oh. Disney cast in honor of Harry Potter, so I made sure to see myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's better than Star Wars, I suppose, because that's the big... Although I'm wearing hey, BBA. Hey, 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 hey. Whoa, that, I take offense to that bold statement. <laughs> Or controversial <laughs> statement. <laughs> so you're going to be on um, on London Bridge Bricks' live stream as well, aren't you? On Sunday, yes. On, yeah, on Friday, Sunday. not too sure. but Oh, okay. So yes, yeah. on Sunday, I don't know if you guys have seen on Instagram, we're also doing a pirate build, so, <laughs> which will be interesting. So Greg and I think Solo have got the new three-in-one pirate ship. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, you've got some of the really old sets, haven't you? 1989. That's almost as old as me. Not quite. Yeah. Almost. It's it's significant. It, it it is older than me. <laughs> <laughs> it is older yeah, than me. Really, you can say that. You can say that. You know. Well, I, I do sound thirty-one. I guess. So I, I understand the confusion. <laughs> but yeah, you're building. Is it the which? What's the the island called? The Desperate. Uh, well, I've got Caribbean Clipper, and I've got Forbidden Island as the two Ooh. I'm building. So I'm saving. Well, Eldorado I was going to do, but I need to properly clean some stuff like that. Yeah, that's yeah. that so, yeah. But Forbidden Island is why I thought it's more piratey and more suitable for a pirate ship thing. Well, have you, in those sets, have you got the new version of um, Blackbeard then? The uh, the new one of this guy? I am a classic boy. Of course, I don't oh, have that one. Really? I need that one. Oh, I'd love to see what the original one looks like because I've heard they're very similar. Hey, I'll, I'll grab him. Hold on. I'll grab him. Yeah, that will be an ace to see that. Oh. As you're doing that, I have a look at uh, people in the chat. Lots of love. Hi, Simon. Hi, Tech Productions. Hi, Family Bricks. Loads of people in the house. There we go. So that's Everyone's the doing. original boy. Oh, there we go. Let me put him on full screen. There we go. Oh, wow, he's so retro. Look at his cool little ginger beard. Great back printing. Ten out Does he have a grey bit in the middle or not? No, not really nope. great. He's gone old with my set. He's got a great red bit. man. <laughs> I love <laughs> this guy. <laughs> yeah, I love that retro parrot colour. And it's like a really old brown as well. It's cool. Yeah. So the original red beard, the true hero. I like how we put him in the new Barracuda Bay, though. It's kind of nice, like, shout out. Yeah. Oh, oh, my... oh. Oops. LBB's just got to go uh, get some pizza. Oh. We've already eaten pizza tonight, anyway. So, uh, so yeah. I had, I had pork, but now I want pizza. Ooh. Oh, yeah, this guy was missing there from your set, and it upset me that he was Ooh. not in the new pirate set. Oh, which one's that one? So that's Admiral Governor Broadside, my favourite figure from Pirates. He looks very French. <laughs> I don't know why. Bonjour. He just looks French. Maybe it's the wine. Maybe it's the wine glass. Oh, he is a man of good tastes. <laughs> yeah, I, I love the gold on him, and just oh, that face. Is, it's such a friendly face. That's kind of a weird pirate hat as well. I haven't seen like a print like that before. Oh, it's, kind yeah. of a it's a nice, yeah, he's a nice one. So <laughs> he came in. Said, is that a ginger beard or strawberry blonde? Well, <laughs> we usually say strawberry blonde, uh, sign. That's, that's the way it goes. No one's ginger. Only Ron Weasley's ginger, which we don't have in this set. Do we? Oh, we do have a small Ron in this, don't we? Yeah, Ron, Ron is in this set. I'm trying to find my Captain Hook now, but I think I've got him in the castle. Ah, whoops. So yeah, we've got a question from Mahan saying, any good Disney Plus movies? 
bracket. Oh, in, in I have been on that thing 24-7. Um, <laughs> some of the new stuff, I will admit, I haven't really watched much. I did watch a great SpaceX documentary, which is on the Nat Geo page, which is great because I love you space. Love SpaceX, though, don't you? You're I love space right now. I think you're um, the only one I've seen that likes that SpaceX idea. <laughs> the rocket. <laughs> if you're still watching uh, Matt Elder, Family Bricks, I watched your SpaceX video the other day. It was really cool, and I love that build. Um, oh, yeah, someone me- said Doubtfire? Classic. Doubtfire. Oh, Nightmare Before Christmas? Didn't know that was on. Yes. Um, Star Wars, Wars, The Clone Wars is, of course, a great film. 10 out of 10. Best Star Wars film. <laughs> Star Wars, The uh, Rise of Skywalker is on there. Which is actually disappointing because I actually bought it three days earlier for 14 years. <laughs> I also bought it. <laughs> yeah, I was so annoyed. I was like, I didn't even want to buy this. Oh. I, wanted to, I couldn't remember what the film was like. Mm. Actually, when mm. I went to see it, I had one eye closed because um, I what was it? That I got shingles, didn't I? I had shingles and I hadn't realised. And then, um, oh. yeah, my entire face was like half, half closed. And I, I mean, still went I didn't to watch tell it. You that you- should stay at home. I needed to bed. watch the last saga. I knew. Yeah, you didn't remember it. Well, it I need. Is that BB nine E shirt or BB eight shirt? I just realised your shirt. Oh, it's a, a BB eight. Yeah, it's BB eight. Yeah, it's BB eight in in the oh, pocket. There's a BB nine. Well, there's the black one, isn't there? I don't know what that one's. What that one is. It's the BB black one. Yeah. He's BB nine E, but he's not. As yeah. Cool. No. Um, yeah, I think on Disney Plus, so the Pixar page is my home. I'm obsessed with Pixar right now well cb brick said he started watching uh paris the caribbean but he couldn't get past the first 45 minutes uh can we can we can we block cb bricks can we remove him from chat please um yeah <laughs> you are mod now you uh, cb bricks look at the brick head and say sorry <laughs> say sorry <laughs> look at those eyes how could you not watch those eyes for 45 minutes <laughs> look at those tears coming off his eyes look at those little white tears how could you how could you? <laughs> you know, he's giving me like a death stare. <laughs> he's staring into his soul, like, nope, you press that play button now. <laughs> oh, I, oh, dear. I love that. Pirates is such a good film. The first one's brilliant. I like the original three. Yeah, I have to admit, I do like the original. And the soundtrack three. is magnifique. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what was that? That's a big rip. Where's that gone? That's a big rip, Chris. At least you got a more. I don't know what that was in relationship to. Mm. Big rip. Yeah. Oh, well, I know rest in peace, but I don't know what it's for. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the death said he enters the stream and immediately sees Jack Sparrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hashtag content. That would be amazing for people who have just entered going, oh, I'm supposed to be seeing Harry Potter. And it just gets make and make like, that the thumbnail. Just make that the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sai O'Connor. <laughs> yes, yeah, so Sai yeah. said he's watched all Caribbean films a couple of weeks back. I was about doing that, wasn't I? Because so, we watched the, all the Harry Potter ones recently, and I'm still terrible. I never remember the name, so sorry. What's your favourite Harry Potter film and then book? For the two? They all blur it into one. So I've only read the first four books. Um, okay. And my favourite of the first four was uh, the third one, the uh, Prisoner of Azkaban. I actually yeah. thought it was really good. Goblet of Fire just got too big for me. And that's like, I just got quite bored of it in places. It was a bit like... Did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? Yeah, it just got a bit... I think after that, I just couldn't be bothered. But the books, right. uh, the films I actually really, really enjoyed. Um, I couldn't tell you which one's my favourite, though, because I kind of watched them. You literally watched them in like two weeks, didn't you? Uh, including the Fantastic Beasts as well. So, um, oh, oh, no, I, I can't we watch bought, that. We bought like the full, it was like eight films, is it, or ten? Ten, ten films on a, an iTunes for like 30 quid or something. So. Damn, that's quite good. And then yeah. Miss Brickman, what about yourself? Oh, I don't know. Can you even remember the films? No, not really. All the books. <laughs> you've got you've the Phantom remember. Menace, then you got Attack of the Clones, and it's Revenge of the Sith. So. That, that's not Wrong very <laughs> So there's a lot going on in the chat with the uh, the brickheads. There's always a love of brickheads and, and a love nice. of Nick Walker. I, th- I think as well for Harry Potter, I think my favourite book I agree is Azkaban. Love See you later, man. Yes, thanks for coming, mate. It's okay, man. Favourite film is um, Half-Blood Prince. Love that film. Not accurate to the book, but a great film. <laughs> Brickslaw says he'd rather watch Pirates of the Caribbean than get shingles. Yeah, so would yeah. I. Uh, that yeah, it's the worst thing I've ever had in my life. It was absolutely Sh- horrendous. I don't know what this is. Shingles. Shingles is like something you get when you're old. So it's essentially 
it, like uh, chicken pox. Yeah, it's. Uh, it's chicken pox. See, I thought you were on about a movie, and I was like, "What's shingles? I've never seen that." No, it's shing like a shing shing shingles list. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> There's a shingle, basically, it like attacks your uh, nervous system, but only half of your uh, body. And usually oh. you can get it on your body, but I got it on my face. So oh, it was yeah. like, um, yeah, like basically covered up half my face, and it, it, it was just horrible. I was like in bed for like a week. So, oh, God. Yeah. God. yeah. Not, not good. God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and my entire family felt really sorry for me, which is why they bought me the Millennium Falcon. So, <laughs> so it worked out okay. <laughs> It was Bad worth life. it. <laughs> it was worth it. Was <laughs> so, Seabrick says the Half Blood Prince is the worst Harry Potter film, followed what? by Chamber of Secrets. So, which one's that one? Is that the one? That's the one where um, it's Thingy's book, isn't it? It's a uh, Snape's book. Is that that one? Yeah, he's the Half Blood Prince, isn't he? In the book, it's the book that Harry finds, isn't it? And it turns out to be Snape's. Is that right, or is it the book? One I think is more Chamber of Secrets, but Tom Riddle's diary. Oh uh, yeah, which is the one I'm six, thinking? Six. Of? Six is six is the one where um, they they essentially just lose. It's the one right before like Deathly Hallows. Yeah, because the Half Blood Prince is Snape, though, isn't it? If I remember rightly, he's the so, Half Blood yeah. Prince. Yeah, yeah. The Chamber of Secrets is the one where he stabs the book with the the tooth, isn't it? The, the snake yeah. tooth. Yeah. And and like I understand it's not as accurate. As oh, there's some controversy. Uh, I, Alyssa Dean said the uh, Half Blood Prince is the best film. So <laughs> that shows that it's a good. That just shows it's a good franchise, though, because like if people like some people's worst is some people's best. Exactly. Like I don't think anyone would say the Last Jedi is the best Star Wars movie, and if they do, they're not a true Star Wars fan. So. <laughs> uh, whoa, whoa, that's not going to bad. I think Revenge of the Sith is the best film. I get a lot of crap for that. <laughs> Revenge of the Sith. Yes, oh. mm -hmm. that's why I'm building this thing. It's the best. It's the best of the prequels. I'll give it that. Yeah. I've made progress on my Venator. Yeah, see, you now said The Last Jedi is the best. <laughs> and you people would say that. Oh, man. Oh, so, no. so people that said Dumbledore dies in that one. So that's the one yeah. where he takes some, yeah, shoots him off it's the It's such uh, a cool yeah. moment. And it, and yeah, oh. It's been out for like 10 years, to be fair. It's like saying Vader's Luke's father. I think, yeah, it's a bit Wait, of a spoiler. what? Yeah, Rogue hasn't got that far. He's still on the prequels. <laughs> I'm still on Rebels. What? <laughs> you don't know who Vader is yet, then? It's okay. It's almost like you're going to there's like walking teddy bears in Star Wars, which there's no way that's true. <laughs> nah, I love Ewoks, right? I love them. So I love Ewoks. I love they are Ewoks. The coolest things. Ewok Village is the greatest. <laughs> so Dog Lovers now said the CV Bricks doesn't deserve mod status. <laughs> <laughs> Generic stuff. He says Shingles 2 was decent. The <laughs> out there. But my favorite. Where's that? I keep going up too fast. There you go. <laughs> the fourth one was just too out there. <laughs> I hope I don't get shingles too. That'll be next Christmas. No, no, we're not having that. No. <laughs> so, favorite Star Wars is the original. Saw it premiere. Oh my goodness, that must have been amazing at the time. 1977, I've... I think it was the original, isn't it? A New Hope. Yep, it's good. Definitely a good one. But I think what? I'd go for the like yeah. the classic six. I'd go three, five, <laughs> six. Ooh, there you four. see Rick. This this is this is definitely ruining Whoa. ruining. This is, this I is, love Return of the Jedi. My favorite movie of all time. Yub, Yub Nub, right? That should top the charts every yeah. May Fourth. Well, that's that the worst thing I hate about George. Like, maybe he hasn't seen the original because Yub Nub's not in the new version, is it? They took it out. It's a bop. They, yeah, they took it out, which is ridiculous. Is but um, yeah, I, I actually I had to show Steph the ending. So we watched the the. The um, Return of Jedi for the first time because she'd never seen the originals. And um, right. I paused it at the end when that happens and I went on YouTube and showed her the original. Nice. <laughs> Good man. Good That's man. The better version. Right. You know, but I love the fact they put Hayden Christensen in as Anakin's file at the end. It's such, a, like nice, it's such a nice moment for the yeah. prequel. I think made. that's quite nice, but I just hated that they had to remove that song because that song's amazing. Mm. That's not Still, the new song is fine, but oh. yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, that, no, yeah, that no. was fun. Yeah, so you know that glass that I, that I showed you that I bought from um, the the cantina in Star Wars? That's you mean the glass that I am attempting to trade. Yes. Yeah, that's actually called the Nub Nub. That's the drink that you get uh, based nice. on that song. So. Oh, yeah. I I offer you one Chancellor Palpatine, definitely not Darth Sidious. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not, 
I, I want to go get to that one. To be honest, I'm surprised they got home without breaking because it's like yeah. China. So I, I want to try and go in the next year or so and get some myself because it looks so cool, man. Yeah, I mean, I, I want a lightsaber. <laughs> I believe it at the moment, just because we had it. So we were supposed to be going in October, and we're told mm -hmm. you have to wear masks, and they couldn't it down by like a quarter of people allowed in. It's just wow. not going to be the same. So. I wouldn't even wonder if they even would open the lightsaber making or the droid demo. Mm. So you don't want to go and then be like let down because I, I did everything when I went because you just kind of had to. Did you, when you went, was Rise Resistance not finished yet? It wasn't ah, open. So that's what you got. Literally just the gift shop. That's why I want to go back again. <laughs> so, nice. Yeah. You got to get that go. keychain at the checkout. So you have to go all the way back to get that keychain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm planning yeah, yeah. to go after I graduate next year. I think that's one of the plans is trying yeah, to get to really edge. Edge. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's it's really, really cool. I mean, I wish that I, because I only went, I didn't go for that. I went for a conference and it was just that it was near there. But mm. I love it because I don't really get to see much of the Disney park. I literally spent all day at Galaxy's Edge. So. Nice. <laughs> so I went, I went the other year, I went there last year and oh, I love Disney World so much. Hollywood Studios is probably my favorite, which is quite on. Um, not an unpopular opinion, but not a common one. But I just love Toy Story Land and all that, and uh, the Chinese theater. I really want to go on Mickey's uh, Runaway Rail that ride thing. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Have you seen the new set, by the way? The Disney no. thing. Oh, the the new the, the oh the Mickey's mid figures. Yeah, I saw it on yeah. a. Apparently, so, that thing's one hundred and eighty dollars. Apparently, what I know. A it looks like it's got a built brick base though as well, which will add to the pieces. Yeah. And well, and um, I was watching Bfab video, and he was saying that like someone was yeah, saying, Bfab's like, actually in right now. He's in the. Uh, oh, the it was to do with the ride as well, apparently, and because of that, I essentially need to get it because <laughs> I tried to get all the Disney World ish sets. I probably won't get the train one though because I think it's a bit too expensive. But yeah, I need. Yeah. I want those figures so badly, man. So you I basically love... you have to get Goofy, aren't you? Because the others you don't really care about for that train. So. Yeah, I need Goofy. <laughs> I, I wonder if they'll do a series three CMF series there at some point. I wouldn't put it past them, to be honest. They're yeah. that popular. And series two was great. Like, I've got them down here. Series two is fantastic. These are all stickers to do. Yeah. So which one's for what? So that was perfect. Yeah, tech yeah. production. Yeah. Toy Story Mania is brilliant. Toy Story Mania is so cool. Um, oh, I I said that was, uh, there was one that was like Buzz Lightyear's, and it was like a blasting game. I think it's like Buzz Blast. I don't know what it was called, but it was. It was oh, yeah, Buzz Lightyear's Astro Blasters. I got yeah, a great was, score was, on that. I remember it was that. broken down when we went. So oh, I think I it's think got, got, I yeah. think I got the high score of the day when I went on that, and I was so proud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, Toy Story Mania, what's cool is there's like a Mr. Potato Head in the queue, and he talks to everyone, and he talked to me. Like, he literally went, Hey, you in the white shirt looked right at me in my white shirt and was like talking i'm just there like what <laughs> and apparently there's like someone controlling it in the back and they can like select these audio things and oh it made my day disney so world is so cool man so bfab said the second series didn't sell well which i kind of probably agree with him because we picked up most of the second series in on offer didn't we in the lego store here i'll show it off disney the oh, disney yeah, ones yeah, so yeah. so yeah that could have a, re uh, a you know whether it's oh he's got them all there there you go I can we go. Stand. But yeah, I I think I think they did I thought I did quite well, but I think maybe perhaps one of some of the reasons is that you have some really great ones like you know like sort after ones Jack Skellington, yeah, Elsa, um, the Incredibles ones, Elsa, Anna, but Chip then you have less kind of known ones like Chip Dale, at least in my opinion, Chip and Dale, yeah, you know, Hercules ones. I didn't think Ducktales are that well known, at least where I am. I, you I, and Louie really were only worth it because you're getting Scrooge McDuck. Exactly, and I I've never seen Ducktales. I'd never even known about it. I think it's more popular in the US. I'm not really <gasps> sure, but it's my it's my it's my era, is what it is, mate. We, we ah, there you go. when we were kids. Um, but yeah. I just think if you compare this to series yeah. one, there's less iconic characters. Yeah, definitely. I mean, is Hercules better. in that set? I always get them confused. Yeah, Hercules was my number one in my worst of first CMF Disney series two. I really like that. Yeah, the Hercules is great. Yeah, he's a great figure just because he has that. It was one of those first times you got that round printed shield, which I think that's the same as the Ninjago shields now. Yeah, but this Jack Skeleton was the star. Look at that figure, yeah. man. So, this is something that I mentioned in my uh, video. Do you think that they, he should have had like Woody's old legs, though? Like, have been a bit taller? Um, Yes yeah. and no. I kind of like how he blends in with the series, but I do yeah. think, yeah, like. It would have looked better from a puppetry perspective. I'm a little bit different, but I think it looks great. I also love Frozone too. 
I really wanted a Frozen and a Lego, so I'm happy. And he got dual molded legs, which is great. You won't like and, my uh, you won't like my review then. Oh god! <laughs> Again, the I made Disney like fan. You what? <laughs> you put him where? The bottom. Not at the bottom. I th- Dude, I th- I remember, right just pick, bring up the series again. And I'll try and tell you. I've got him he on has dual molded arms and legs, and he's yeah, the greatest line in film history. Honey, I think Chip and Dale were last, then Huey, Dewey, yeah. and Louie. Fair. Um, yeah. And then, if I remember rightly, it was like Jasmine, maybe, because I didn't like how they printed her, because she's like supposed to be naked, but she's like got turquoise sides, which I thought was a bit right. Hard. And then where I think did you it put was, my main girl Elsa. Where did you put Elsa? That's oh, she's quite mind. high up because she's quite rare. So I put her and cool. Anna quite high up because they were they're very rare. In many and I, just, I personally think controversial opinion. I think she's the best figure of the whole series. Well, I just I think mean, the chrome and everything, the cape. I just think the detail. In, is she's the best one. Yeah, she's quite detailed. I just liked Hercules because I needed to put a ginger at the top just to. <laughs> Yeah, they no, do. he's a great figure. I think top three would be Elsa, Jack, and Hercules, but Elsa's my favourite. So let's see what the, the chat's been going on. Cause I've been sorry, I've been ignoring the chat. We've been uh, can't believe that's uh, next. Does he want to Galador CMF series? Oh my! I don't think they have the pr- the uh, molds for those anymore, do they? I think they got put in a landfill along I with. Hope, them. Well, I hope not. <laughs> I hope they don't anymore. <laughs> Santa Dragon says, Woohoo, DuckTales theme song is down my head. Yeah, DuckTales. Oh, woohoo. I loved that. Do you know what? Oh do you remember God. when you used to dive into a swing pool of money? Do you know oh, that? yeah. That's that, DuckTales, is it? That's yeah. DuckTales, yeah. Oh, and I've also, seen one or two. Yeah, there's also an amazing Mega Drive game if you're into the Mega Drive. DuckTales is one of the best yeah. games. DuckTales and Aladdin were the two. I think really the one from is it, is it three something? It's like. Oh, what are they? Oh, I think it's like, so I'll, I'll ignore that thought. I'll look something up. One second. So, so uh, Tech Productions has said they need to do Series 3 for Sorcerer. I would have preferred a Sorcerer and Mickey to uh, the Black and White one. Well, they're Steamboat Willie ones, aren't they? No, they're not because. The, 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 these ones. Yeah, that's what I mean. I would have preferred like a Sorceress yeah. one, the Fantasia. You get, you get his hat in the Disney Castle. Oh, do you? Yeah, you get the hat in the. Does, no, it, cl- does, it, does, it, does it clip on, though? I can find out. Oh, that would be amazing. Also, it was three uh, three caballeros. I was thinking of. Are they from that? Ducktales. Is that three caballeros? Oh, I have no idea. I don't know what that is. That's an awesome uh, thing. Brick Click has gone back onto the. Uh, he wants the next step CMF series. Oh no! Right, so, with me. I'm feel like mate, he's probably gone by now. But uh, breaking news: Comic Con at home will have a chance to buy the promotions on their website. Wow, is that going to be for the UK as well? Then. Uh, that's that quite. That would be cool, but I don't know. Yeah. It might be a thing where, yeah. like, if you had a ticket, you can buy it. Oh, yeah, maybe. I, yeah. I, I know, like, it's we all want them, but I kind of think that's more fair. Yeah. if you Because the hype around it, it's, you know. Also, I've got the figure now. I think you put the door on the wrong way around, though. Well, I suppose if you did that way, it's not the wrong way around. They're saying, yeah, you can buy them everywhere. Fair. I mean, I fair enough. I might try and get one, but because it's Comic Con, expect them to sell out in a, in seconds. Oh yeah, Comic Con exclusives always. You know, Comic Con tickets always sell out really fast. I was hoping to go to MCM this year in Manchester, but yeah, I was going to get to that as well, mate. Um, I was going to go to the Birmingham one as well because I was looking at uh, talking to the um, the what's it called, the Garrison, the UK Garrison. Oh yeah, uh, just. Just for ideas, because kind of thinking of getting a uh, stormtroopers, or uh, maybe for the wedding, or even signing up to it. So nice, it'd be pretty cool. Who doesn't want a stormtrooper at their wedding? I mean, also oh, the hat doesn't connect, Sally. I've got Mickey here. Oh, no. no strong in there thing to yeah. You can sort of balance it on his ear, I guess. <laughs> yeah, there's not it's not I good. love this Mickey so much. Well, apparently, it's a free chance to get yeah. it. Oh, so maybe it's like a raffle, but you have to do it online. And if you get the raffle, you can buy it. Amazing. Maybe. So C- City Bricks has said, anyone else find that Harry Potter sex are often very delicate? Or am I just building them wrong? How is um, it at the moment? Or no, sorry. No? This is a, so this is the first big major set we've had. I've got the uh, I've created a little Harry Potter set here. The room of requirements. This is quite a good build. Um I love, got, I love that build. I thought this yeah, was yeah. Good. I thought it was a really solid build. Yeah. Maybe maybe they've incre- improved this year with the uh, with the new ones. I don't know, but yeah. I really enjoyed that. Actually. It was a really nice little build that was. 
and I've got some of the originals, like 2001 sets, and they were pretty solid. Like, so breaking I, have... news, I actually saw this on Instagram earlier, mate. Um, he's found a Lego Friends sloth. Uh, so, um, oh my god! So he's obviously going to be getting that for his sloth city. It actually doesn't look too bad for a Lego Friends one. Oh, and then Sean said it's a wall of requirement. Yeah, I keep calling it the wall of requirements. I don't know why. It's the wall of requirement. I have to change it. Yeah, what did I say? Yeah. It's the sphere of requirement. Wall of requirement. I have no idea. Oh, he means it's a wall of requirement because it's literally just a wall, I think is what he means. It's not really a room. What? Is that on the back, at the bottom, is it? Sorry, I'm not. The only thing I've got to do is do the stickers, and I'm not even doing that. If the stickers are all wonky on the review, it's because I'm literally just kind of eyeballing it. That's Mine were pristine. Mine looks pretty bad. That looks pretty off. I can't get right. I need to pick the Disney Castle. Two seconds. Oh man, I don't. Oh. I don't this want to break one, up that time. This is one thing that I heard, which is really annoying, which I've got to do now. The number four button, which is a tiny, tiny sticker. Has to be put onto a one rounded tire, which is ridiculous. Why is that? That's what I say. Actually, it's not too bad. But this one isn't supposed to be a. What's this one for? For a drive. Okay, let me do the stickers. You seem to be building it quite fast. Well, they're only on bag one. And we're half an hour in. So you might have to finish this off off camera for the review. But I've kind of done Privet Drive okay. It's not it's not too bad. That's in front of you. Oh, is it clip onto there? Yeah. Okay, I've, I've put the camera way too far away. So this is the, uh, I'll put me onto full screen whilst, uh, whilst Rogue Runner's not there. So this is the Privet Drive Owl that you get with it. So this isn't the Hedgewood one, it's actually a separate one. It's pretty nice, that's a sticker. I've kind of botched it a little bit, as you can tell. My stickers are never good. And then what's this guy called? It's the Dursley Dad, uh, well, I can't remember his name. It is Vernon. Vernon. Vernon Dursley. I think he's quite rare. I don't think they did this guy that often. So getting that guy. He doesn't look as fat as he does in the, uh, the show. They don't put like any gap marks on what's I think they have with the kid, which is a bit weird. Oh, someone's already said Vernon. People that's right on the ball with these uh, Harry Potter mini pigs. You shouldn't know these things, but I just oh. Sabre said, asking me to apply stickers is like getting an elephant to play Granny's footsteps. <laughs> yeah, it's a game. But yeah, I agree. I'm absolutely terrible at stickers. Uh, so Bricklicker says, someone will hack the Comic-Con website to get the free sets. That, that doesn't surprise me, to be honest. It does not surprise me at all. Sean said he can't wait to watch Star Wars. Have you not got Disney Plus? They're all on there. You need to do that one. I suck at all stickers. An eight-year-old is more coordinated. Yeah, I'm the same, and I actually draw for a living, so that's how bad I am at doing stickers. And Jar Bricks is on. Hey, mate, how's it going? Nice to see you You on the stream again. Really cool. We've got some comments in Insta. It's just <laughs> Brittany said, oh, would you know it stood hacking it? Well, if he does, if you can get a couple, I, you know my address is. You can uh, throw me one, please. But yeah, so we are one bag in, and I don't know if you can see. Um, I know, yeah, you can. You can see that's quite good. So quite a, the bags seem to be quite big actually. I don't know how many pieces this is. I think if I look it up on here, it is seven hundred ninety-seven pieces. So almost a thousand pieces, almost eight hundred pieces, which is not too bad really. I've heard the complaints that people say this is a bit thin, but it, it looks quite. It doesn't look too bad. Um, how many studs is it back? I have to count it after she's done with it. <laughs> ah, so Sean's saying that's what I mean. I'm watching on Disney Plus tonight. Yes, good, good going. <laughs> Cab Brick says he just found out that my friend duplicated diamonds on his Minecraft realm. Ah, oh, yeah, I hate it when people cheat at it. It just makes it unfun. So CB said, are you guys going to do Dungeons and Dragons on Tuesday? If so, can you build the mini set you have on London Calling? Ha <laughs> So, I don't know what happened with the you'll have to ha ask him. Um, if not, then the dungeon set that I've got will be built on Wednesday next week uh, on my channel. Um, I don't know when, what, when he's thinking, but if not, then yeah, I can probably build it on, uh, on Friday if so. I've got a couple of sets that I can just kind of juggle 
London Bridge Breakfast is like a three and a half hour um, live stream. So I kind of build three or four sets on it anyway. So it's not uh, too bad. This one? Cat that comes on the stairs. Oh, I've kind of left it. Oh, he's, he's not on at the moment anyway. I think, he's, I think he's still in the stream, just not. Uh, where, which way around does it go? Does it not matter? Where's the place there? Okay. I don't think it matters too much because it doesn't really have anywhere to line up to. So people are saying with this one is weird because um, the room upstairs is Harry Potter's room and the cupboard under the stairs is also Harry Potter's room. So it's a bit of a weird one. But well, I suppose it used to, be, the... used to be Dursley's room though, didn't it? It used to be. No. Yeah, yeah, Harry's room was his old room and he gets a new room. He does in the film anyway. I'm pretty sure that's the same as in the book. Oh, so Jessica says, yeah, I'll also be there on Friday. I have a couple of ideas, but nothing concrete yet for the campaign. Okay, so I'll probably build it next Wednesday then instead of Tuesday because we want to make sure that what we do is going to be pretty good. So I think it'll take us a little bit longer yet to sort that out. But um, we may have a go some po at some point of just doing the, um, the Ninjago dungeon game though because that looks kind of kind of cool. Uh, so let's see what's up here. I have returned. Chris, is your falcon mounted on one of those Etherman stands? It's actually a, I can't remember the company. I have to look it up for you, mate. Um, it's a, um, what do you call it? What's the Perspex. It's a Perspex um, one that you have to actually make and it all screws together. And it's one that actually you can have it that way like I have, or you can have it further down that's not as, as angular. Um, basically, that's the only reason I bought it because I saw that stand and thought, "Oh, actually, it might fit on the shelf." But, um, but yeah, that's it. Or it's a force; it's floating. Oh, are you back, Rogue? There you go. I'll put you back. Yeah, on. yeah, I'm all back, man. Sorry. Um, yeah, Sorry? Oh, I've broken the castle no, before no. on stream, so I was like, "Let's not have a repeat of that." <laughs> so I just, go, I just go for it because the way the top part is put onto the the base of the castle. Oh, I put my camera on. One second. So the way this connects is there's jumper plates right behind here. So the whole tan section clips on. Oh, wow. And for some reason, it wasn't going back on. And so I realized underneath there was a jumper plate stuck. But so we're uh, going to that. And yeah, so I'd rather not <laughs> break that yeah. set again. So. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So Seabridge has said he can't wait for the Nissan GTR on Mini Bill Bundy. Yes, it's built. I've actually got it already. Um, I just prioritized some of the newer sets because I know a lot of people wanted Harry Potter. So I thought I'd do a Harry Potter week. Um, so yeah, that's why Harry Potter kind of kind of bumped it this week. I found my uh, my snakes one the other day from um, the studios. I love Snape's my favorite character. Snape. Yeah, I love Snape. But he dies. But he's cool. Have you not seen Harry Potter puppet pals? <laughs> that she was just doing the exact same thing. Yes, she was thinking it. Yes, I have seen it. <laughs> Far too many times. Oh, oh, the ticking noise. It's a time bomb. <laughs> no, and I, love, I love the end of just Voldemort, 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 Voldemort. I don't know. It's so good, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so Tech Brooks says the UCS Star Destroyer is on for five fifty. John Lewis. Yeah, we saw that. Uh, earlier, didn't we? Time to quit off. Not bad. That's the best you're gonna get it, other than yeah. the VIP points, which would give it you sixty five quid on off on Legacy. It's still cheaper than that. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. That's what I got the Falcon for last year on. Was it Black Friday that you all got it, Ian? I think it was Black Friday or or the or the like Force Friday or something. Uh, from John Lewis and they price match Lego for five fifty, but um, but yeah, those sets you're not going to get for any cheaper than that. Yeah, it's it's hard to get them on sale if not at all. And yeah, I think if that was on Black Friday, that thing sold out in nothing minutes if not seconds. So you must go pretty lucky if you got it on Black Friday. Yeah, so I saw those Etherman stands. So, I, but when I was looking at getting one, the the ones online always seem to be like fake Technic ones. So I oh, didn't get them. Yeah, big so I no no. Bought, I just bought the Perspex one. Um, yeah, people are asking how your pizza was, Greg. Yeah, pizza, didn't we? Oh, Solid Brick Productions, best set for $300 or less USD, which I guess, let's say, £300 as well. So London Bridge Bricks said he's looking forward to our ocean adventure on Friday with Brick in it. I think it's actually, isn't that on Sunday? It's on Sunday, yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's on Sunday. It's on Sunday, mate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting confused. He's got so many live streams going on, which are all epic as well. Well, in, in, 
in GST, which is Greg Standard Time, it might be Friday. <laughs> GST, GMT's Greg Medium Time, isn't it? Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all. Bricks Brooksons says best set for three hundred dollars or yet yeah, less. Ooh. Oh, gives you quite a lot of any money. like. Do you want it to be Crater Expert or Technic? Or have you got any like specific wants, perhaps? My favorite set is, is that bad boy, but that's a controversial yeah. set that a lot of people don't like. But I love the Haunted House theme park, right? And I think and the, the Castle 350 US, so I won't say. Yeah, it. it is, yeah. And then I really like Barracuda's Bay as well. That's a really cool set. They're, yeah. all not, they're not near that 300, they really are they? They're around 200. I think the house is 250 in the US. Is it? Right. 250. Um, I'm just thinking off the top of my head, 300. Nothing jumps out in the 200s range that's not above like 300, you know. Like, I mean, that, I I like Antid 4 that's a couple of years old now. Yeah, yeah. I love I'll put that one here. I love that set. That's a good yeah. one. Yeah, I can get it on the stream. Okay, they say not Technic. Okay. Yeah, I don't like Technic anyway, so that's good because I wouldn't uh, be able to help you with Technic. Tantive 4, I'd say it's great. And it's a year old, but still, uh, once it retires, it's yeah. one of those ones I don't make often, and I wanted this thing for years. So I was so happy. And I got it on. It's I got it on May fourth last year. Here we go. So Gallifrey says Ninjago City set looks good. Yeah, it's, it's retired now. It's one I really, really want, but it's retired. But I'll put you on. I'll put you on full screen for the. Uh... Da -da, da -da, da -da. Looks so good. On now and again. Look at that. That stand is so effective. The handle. It's genius. It's the simplest little build, and it works. Time going off in the distance, like the original time we see it. It's just I don't want to knock the castle down. <laughs> Who cares about the castle? Throw it on the floor. <laughs> oh man, I don't. Yeah, no, the the Tantive Four. I'd say it's a great shout. Yeah, I want to get the exclusive layer and Bell. Yeah, it's just some really good minifigures as well. That's what makes it more tempting for me. Captain Antilles um, as well. So Zante Dragon said he just bought the gingerbread house here in the US. It ships in 60 days back order. Yeah, we have it. We have that one. We have all the Christmas sets for the last five or six years. But we ordered it like three months before Christmas when it first got announced last year and it went on back order almost instantly. Oh my God. Yeah, we have the lights for it as well. well. I'll show you that nearer to Christmas. Obviously, I'm not going to get it out now because it's in the yeah. attic. Um, we've got all the custom lights for it as well. It's pretty cool. I've got two Christmas sets. I've got, they're both broken, but I can probably rebuild them. I've got Santa's Workshop and then the original Christmas train from like 2007 or six, which is from a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. We've got, we've only got the new train and we don't have the, you know, there were two Santa's Workshops. So you've got the second one, not the first one. Because they like re-released it, didn't they? Did um, they? Yeah, they, it was like one that was re-released, apparently. Because oh. that no, one... I think the toy shop did, but I think the workshop. Oh, sorry, the that's what I mean. Sorry, the toy shop. Ah, uh, I've got the workshop. Workshop. Yeah, we've got the second one. We've got the we've got the workshop as well. Haven't we? We've got the toy shop and the workshop. Nice. Um, we've got quite. We've got the fire station, the train, the gingerbread house. Oh, what else we've got? I think that's all of them. I don't know all the ones we've got. We've got five or six of them, haven't we? We've got Santa's. Yeah, Santa's. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. I want to go look at ones under three hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you have to look at the picture. What's under three hundred dollars? Let's have a look. Um, I was like to say, under three hundred dollars. I'm waiting so, for the next Christmas. So Lunar Ridge Rick said he never realised you could still buy it. Yeah, they usually do cancel while they um, retire the Christmas ones quite quickly. No, you can still yeah. get, you can still get the gingerbread house and they can get a fire station still. The fire station the yeah. Still the I think they've person. I this is again nothing official. I just think this. I think they've personally extended them because of what's going on now and like mm, crazy the page everything's on back order so i think yeah. they've perfectly put them up so get them on john lewis though they've not even got them what that just, that just reminded me actually of a set that i think is under 300 dollars in america that's my favorite is assembly square I think yes. that's still available for purchase and that is an amazing set oh it, it's out of stock at the moment i'm on the page it's out everything's out of stock. yeah everything's out of stock. But it, is, it is still available though it's not retired is it so yeah yeah there's yeah. one set in stock you can buy on for under three hundred dollars on Creator Expert on Lego.com. However, it is the worst Lego set ever made, and that is Old Trafford. <laughs> <laughs> if they were Liverpool, they'd make a good team stadium like Liverpool, but no, they'll make Old Trafford. <laughs> so, if, if, you, if you like a bad team stadium, I recommend Old Trafford. But 
Yeah. Otherwise, if you can wait, um, Apollo Land is a brilliant build. That's a hundred dollars. Um, Haunted House is great, two fifty. Uh, Assembly Squares two eighty US. That's a great build, like you mentioned. Um, so there's a couple. Aston Martin's two years old, isn't it? That's been out for a while. Yeah, as Bricks off said, has everyone seen my childishly excited post about my tile orders? Hey, I've done the same thing actually. I've got a brick link order that was basically a load of tiles uh, to try and put together the comic book store for above the toy shop. But oh, yeah. It's been waiting for like six weeks. So, uh, uh, I well, so don't make brick link orders. I do make childishly excited posts about my custom figures, like my Purge Trooper. <laughs> so cool. I'm like, oh. Greetings from Stuttgart. Wow, amazing. Hello, oh, hello. I've seen you comment in a couple of times on my new vi on my video as well. It's really cool. Nice to have fans. Not, yeah, not. I know where it is. Brickclicker is spitting some facts in the chat. Like, big up Brickclicker for this. Yeah, Lego Liverpool CMF series and the stadium. Not that we were told. I'm not going to start football riots in here. Especially things I don't even like. Mini figure, and I'll be happy. Let's, let's, like let's talk about you know like Mario and Wario sets over uh, football, please. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they're, they're going to come out in August, aren't they? <laughs> so people are about modding the, the gingerbread house into the city. I'm not allowed to mod any of the Christmas sets. They have to be 15 <laughs> and they go on the Christmas count there. Not no. allowed. See, now you get people wanting Leicester City CMF series. Yeah, I'll give them that. Just May United and Man City. I think. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past them doing CMF. Because, like, you know, those, Pag what are they called? Pagani cards, whatever they're called? Yeah, they, they did the Germany team from Euro 2016, yeah. like I've got them. But like, fully grown adults collect those sticker books, like, and they go mental yeah. for them. So I think like, even people that wouldn't be into Lego would definitely want to get the football card. If they had like, if, imagine they had like a hundred minifigure, like for the Euros, and they had like loads yeah. of- I, I just think though that, I only really did the German one, but I just don't think that the name specifically, I did it just, basic figures for the team's fair but yeah i just think a lot of the names maybe aren't as universal except like you know messi ronaldo yeah. and I mean, those players. i think that's what would work if it was like euros or world cup you do them in oh, different yeah. groups instead so you'd have like for instance i like say messi and it'd be like an actual different costume then you'd have like rooney or whatever so it would look yeah. different and I, I think they, 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 set all the same. they looked the same with just different hairstyles yeah, like yeah, we well, just have like Euro yeah. legends, like top goal scorers and stuff. And I think it'd be easier doing that than having to get like eighteen different team licenses for a series. And like, for yeah. example, would those teams want their figures in the same as another teams if they're rivals? You yeah. know, whereas countries, I think it's easier. So, yeah, I'd I'd rather see a World Cup or Euro I series. I think people would love that as well because they can make their own custom minifig with like their favorite yeah. footballer on the back, which would mm -hmm. be cool. um, yeah. I think it would work in a lot of levels. That maybe we need mm -hmm. to do that as a CMF series. So people said the Team GB series, was, yeah, that was good. The um, good. Olympics one they did. They did I, the yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think nine? So, yeah, it's a weird number, wasn't it? It's was like a gymnast, a horse rider, a fencer, a boxer, judo. judo. can't remember swimmer. the other one. Swimmer. swimmer. Relay runner. Yeah. Was there a footballer as well? I don't uh, know. Uh, there wasn't a footballer. Uh, but did you say the archer? Oh, no, there's an archer. Yeah, that's archer. the other one. There's another one. Oh, horse! The the horse. Yeah, I said the horse. One. Yeah, there's the horse one. Oh, oh, tennis. tennis, tennis, tennis. I like tennis. that one. My, I like that, but I think my favorite was the relay runner because it had 1948 on it, which I think was the yeah. last time we had it. Which was so, quite cool. I was thinking of doing videos. So for my mini fig, mini fig, I should say that mini fig Fridays. <laughs> part of my friend. Friday, woo! Um, I was thinking of actually starting to maybe try and complete the entire CMF series because I've got like. Oh. 10 or 12 of the series, but I might try and get them all and then unbox the one that I do like that month and just get one a month. Yeah. Obviously they get which, which, uh, which series are you missing? Uh, so I've got like basically from 12 up, but then I don't have like the Ninjago one, for instance, or the Batman ones. So I've got oh, one that okay. I can collect still. Um, potion. Eric's in the background, so let's just add him into the uh, the chat as well. Here we go. You're right, mate. Hello, everybody. I'm just here to flex this handsome boy here you finally finished it how long did it take you well i woke so i woke up at like 5 a.m on the the, the, the day after the stream because i couldn't sleep and then i just did this it, oh it's so i love this set so much it does look really cool mate it i managed to i managed to get the play feature working i'm just i'll bring my oh, yeah, I I say, 
Try put your guys' names on because they're not on there. Okay. Yeah. That you guys awesome. haven't seen these guys, by the way, I'm just saying the names are at the bottom. Go and subscribe to them. They're great channels. Just putting that out there. Sorry. Carry so, on. This thing here moves up and down. Uh, that's not that interesting. These things here move up and down as well, which is pretty we'll put cool. You full screen mode. There we go. Okay. There you go. So, go. These bits here, they move up and down. It's pretty epic. This uh, sort of like cage moves up and down. And probably my favorite thing is like this walkway here. This, oh, and this is all oh, from wow. the exact same like thing here, which is pretty nuts. I think you're supposed to turn that in the board game, aren't you? Depending on what you like what you roll on isn't it i think yeah i i, I have absolutely no idea the instructions for this is garbage and i don't know if um it's like working now the link or anything but i probably should check that that's really cool so i do just want to i don't know what it is but those skulls i don't know i'm not a fan of the skull pieces okay i just don't think they look like lego fair enough i, I think them. i think they look cool but i don't know i just there's something about them that just sticks out to me but the rest of the set's gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Pretty it's a really cool set. So we'll be yeah, here in the studio as well. Get, get Hello, late. everyone. How are we, we all? I'll remove my character from the bottom so that he's not in the way of everyone. Very so good. We're having a, a castle flex up right now. I definitely would win that. Look at this. Look at your garbage castle. Get that That's out like of before there. and after. You need like <laughs> an apocalypse bow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like... It's like you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've got Tinkerbell, right? That wins any battle. I have Tinkerbell. She wins automatically. Okay, so in the chat, yeah. who reckons who would win? The Disney castle or the school castle if they had to battle to the death? Just remember, I have more than power. <laughs> I have a drawing tablet. I can I can do some serious damage with that. Okay, <laughs> and I can, I can also scream into my mic and put my mic in my mouth. Okay. Yeah. So oh. London Bridge Bridge said we need Castle Grayskull. I would a hundred percent buy that. So if anyone who wasn't born in the eighties, Castle Grayskull is from He Man Masters of the Universe, and it is an amazing, amazing. Let's think about it. It's just a brilliant figure. Right, this, this figure wins any battle. Oh, so someone said Skull Dungeon. Someone said Disney. Oh, there's a bit of a. Yeah. Think about versus <laughs> Mahan, you must be on something if you're saying that, set man. Like, come on. There is a reason that Mahan gets mod on every single stream. And I'm, that's all I'm going to say. I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> don't, Mahan, don't, want to, don't worry, Mahan. Mahan. It's my stream. He can't ban you on my stream. I don't think. Bet, how, bet, bet, Chris. Uh, Mahan, <laughs> I, I respect your opinion, Mahan. <laughs> I don't. Uh, but I, yeah, I do, actually. All right, I'm going to try the spinner out. And just see how this goes. Oh Good yeah, I need to unbox my one of those, the spinners. They look cool, those spinners. They Wait, are. Put me on full screen again. Wait there. There we go. This is gonna. Oh, this is. I've got the most awful <laughs> camera setup ever. You, like you don't even understand. It's all right. Here we you go. Put a mini thing in the mini middle. Uh, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna just put it over there. Like oh. And he, <laughs> and he killed him. These spinners are so great. They work like a charm. Oh. So is it supposed to be like spinning gypsy or something? They do? I have no idea, but I they, they don't work very well. Oh, it's spinning now. It stopped. I don't like the dice. Uh, yeah, it, so it is the dice. It's got like stuff on the side, but uh, yeah. you can also spin it if you really want. Fair enough. Yeah, I put out my heart is not on anything, but I still think he's wrong. <laughs> Disney Castle Supreme. So is that that looks like a mod set? Is that that is the one you can buy in the shops your Disney Castle? Yes, because that looks massive compared to the one I've seen like on Brixie's channel. It must just be that his city's that big that it makes this it is, uh, four thousand eighty pieces. Wow, that's pretty. That's quite a lot of pieces. More yeah. than the Death Star. Such a nice set. Yeah, and the Death Star was pretty boring because it's just round and white, blue, gray, and dark, blue, gray. Too fast. It's a bowling ball. I had to say that the Mining Falcon wasn't the most fun set. It was just so much fun. <laughs> oh, no, not another wedge that I've got to do. It's like a chore. It's like, have you, have you carried on with your Mining Falcon today? Did you did you get, like, flashbacks from seeing light grey? You just see light grey and then you just instantly go into some sort of attack. It, it, it's horrendous. It's horrible. Like, yeah, when you're building it, it's just so much, like, greebling on the side and stuff. You're like... Wow, look at that. Those 100 pieces of Someone so light grey. For no reason. 
Is that what you're building on the side? Is that what you're just demolishing? Yeah, that's the benefit so far. Oh, it's wow. That looks good. Thanks, man. So, so I'm on the hangar bay area now, and then I'll get to the back. So I'm using Technic because the Lego set, the issue was, in my opinion, these front panels, I think this is accurate. The Lego ones are like this angle, mm. they're way too far up where this is accurate. And then it's just the way, and then the bottom part is what should be angled, like I've got here and here. So it's just, I'm just trying to make sure it's as accurate as I can get it compared to the Lego one. We haven't uh, seen a pod racer for a while either, so it's good that you're making one. A pod racer? What? <laughs> <laughs> Chris, this is why this is why you're like, oh, I lost five subscribers today. And I'm like, yeah, I know, we know why. Okay. Um, I thought it was a snow snowmobile, like stormtrooper. What's it called? The um the snowmobile thing. Guys, this are you gonna like, these statements? Are you gonna put any stormtroopers with it? Like you could put Ray driving it and Finn maybe with. No, the... you know what I'm gonna do just to make everyone happy. From Clone Wars, I'm gonna get all my Gungans and put them in. They're all gonna be jumping out of it. That's the plan. Jar Jar will be leading the Venator. I love Jar Jar. Everybody hates Jar Jar, but I think Jar Jar was hilarious. Seriously, funny guy. Absolutely hilarious. Did you see the time where he stood in poop? That was like the highlight of my life. So relatable. <laughs> are, you, are you making a good idea set of Jar Jar to try and get it out there? UCS would. Jar Jar. Yeah. Oh, we I'm pretty sure UCS, UCS Ray Sled. The thing is. The, it might be too sexual because Jar Jar is prone, is well known for being, you know. I have a Jar Jar in a set. So she wants to ask who is Jar Jar. There you go. That's how. Oh dear. <laughs> So my camera is frozen, which is a big sad time. That's all right. Yeah, we really got Jar Jar. We really got twenty fifteen. Just good. So Steph, Steph's been building this. So things in my live stream. Steph's been good at building it. And um, you've done the bottom floor pretty much now, haven't you? You're onto the top kind of. You guys can see it quite well there, anyway, can't you? Let me know if you can see that. Okay. Have you done? Is there a thing for Harry under the stairs? Or is that? Not yes, there is. There is. So, but it's nice. this, so this little bit here is actually a secret. That you can open. And it's supposed to be under the stairs. That seems very accurate to the film where he opens the side <laughs> of the house. <laughs> <laughs> it's his old room. Yeah. It does actually have it does actually have a um a way you can get in from under the stairs as well. Okay. Um, it's just I, for big I can't actually I, open I, it. Have, like... have you been to the studios? Have you no, been there? I haven't. We actually were gonna go, but obviously we're gonna have to wait now. Oh, I went, I went before Gringotts. I went last Christmas. And, oh, my God. It's so Yeah, I, I just saw the advert. As soon as it's White Davis' voice on the advert, it's like, we need to go to there, please. Thank you. Because I was going to say, they, they've got the cupboard under the stairs, then. I think it's either out on the outside, but there's either Privet Drive or then Harry's old house, one of the two. Oh, oh, so like Sean keeps saying he feels like a new hope is going to be terrible. Do you want my honest opinion, Sean? New hope is the worst of the original trilogy. I have to say Oh, that. yeah. I agree. And it is a little bit boring, but it sets the scene for, you know, Luke being a farm boy and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Obi-Wan's pretty cool in it. Um, but it has some pretty memorable, I mean, it's got some very memorable lines in it. You know, these aren't the droids you're looking for. Um, only a blaster with accurate, whatever that one is. You know, it's, it's got quite a few famous lines. And it's got and my favourite droid. You don't know the lines. Yeah. And, it, and uh, <laughs> 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 I always forget his name, though. It's R4-D5, R4-D4. You usually oh, D5, I think, yeah. yeah. D5, I was right the first time. He's I'd so recommend, cool. though, to watch as a YouTube video where they recreated the fight between Vader and Obi-Wan. Yes. Oh, my God, watch yes. it. I've shown Steph that, like, 20 times. Like, it's so good. Like, fight you know, in the film is dated. Right? Yeah. Throws explosives on him and everything. It's so good. It's, it's just like in, in the original city. If you watch the film, yeah. the original city, you go from the best fight in the entire saga in number three, with when they're waving the lights, it's brilliant. To number four, where it's just like they're prodding each other with a stick, and it's just <laughs> how I know we got obviously it is the seventies. Do that. So daily exactly. breaks. Hey, hey mate, we're doing good. Thank you. Oh, Dual Face said Empire is the worst of the original trilogy. <laughs> That's a, a ban on Dual Face Productions. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a clue which any of these films are. The Star Destroyer. So, Simon, so this was something earlier we were saying. Apparently, right now. 
Uh, John Lewis have the superstar for for 550 instead of 650. Yeah, exactly. It's insanely expensive, I know, but if you if you've been looking for it, it's a good deal. So it's one of the best deals you're going to find on that. Yeah, so. I haven't bought it. I don't particularly like it. Sorry. <gasps> um, I think the figures are like now. It's I'm mainly not. I don't like it because I don't know where I can put it in my house. It was the same with the Millennium Falcon. I waited for two years because I didn't know where I could put it. He's so, not allowed to put it on the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> 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 UCS Hogwarts, however. I've even said to her that it would look absolutely amazing on her Christmas display. It wouldn't be <laughs> With all the Christmas lights on it. It's life day. It's life so, day. It makes sense. I have McDonald's. I've acquired the... Oh, I've acquired McDonald's. The holy substance. Uh, but yeah, like Star Destroyer, yeah. yeah. Build, but, oh, well, what would you think of that, Rogue? Hand shot first. He, he, I can't even, I think he does. I yeah, he did, and they rechanged it about 20 they, times. Yeah, they changed they, it for Disney Plus. Now yeah. I think it's now, I think, well, before Disney Plus, it was Greedo <laughs> missing the hand shoots. Now I think they've just made it hand shoots first. So, so Sloth said that they should just scrap it all and just do Baby Odor and RTD2. No, <laughs> absolutely not. Mandalorian. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like that idea. I think you would. Baby Yoda. Oh, in the other room, the baby Yoda. Baby Yoda is not that cute. Let's be honest here. Real talk. Baby Yoda is pretty ugly. Yeah, he's ugly cute though, isn't he? That's that's the point. Yeah. So, he's just so ugly. That's it. Is it going to make a top coffee table? Oh, that's a good idea. You've got a glass coffee table. No, you can't tell me you'd get rid of this amazing. <laughs> you can't tell me. Who's eating McDonald's on a plate? I'm raging. In the that's sun. a very good point. You need that's to eat up in your car, in the car. Hold on. I have some on. class here. <laughs> I'm going to get my fine silverware if it will is please that, you. Is first. that the famous Szechuan sauce you've got with it? Or is it just... Barbecue. <laughs> uh, you can't have my story about this handsome chap right here, okay? It's not acceptable. So apparently the Lego store two hours from him is getting the Hogwarts castle tomorrow. Ooh, nice. Yeah, it's been... I think it went straight onto back order again as soon as it came available. But I do know that Alyssa Deber, if she's on, she's ordered it. I don't know if she's got it yet. She might have got it. If she has, let me know. But um, I know her and Dom have ordered it. Um, so, yeah, I know they were pretty, they wanted it for a while and trying to find a place for it in their house. It's so big, isn't it? But It's massive. It is cool, though. If, if I, like, that is basically, that is the Millennium Falcon to the Harry Potter fans, isn't it? Like That is the ultimate, or the Super Star Destroyer space to the uh, Hogwarts fans. So, do some of you guys build with old Legos? Yeah, we yep. do. Uh, so I think this is before your uh, thing. So let me just put you back onto Rogue. Do you want to show him what you're doing on Sunday, Rogue? I'll grab the instructions. Yeah, one sec. So we're doing a Pirates um, live stream on Sunday on London Bridge Bricks' um, channel. So he's in the chat at the moment. So go and check him out if you get a chance to. Um, me, Rogue, and a couple of others are going to be on there solo. And we're doing a Pirates theme. And um and Ray got some insanely old sets from 1986. Hello. So. so yeah, so the set I'm definitely getting done on Sunday. I'll aim the camera up a bit. Is this 1989 Caribbean Clipper, which is from the original Pirates Wave? So good. And there's the back of the instructions. Whoop. And then I've got Forbidden Island too as well, which is the original Pirate Island. Um, and then at some point as well, I'm not sure on that stream, but eventually I will build. This again, El Dorado Fortress. I have to get done cleaning it. How much is that to buy now? New? Well, not new, obviously. But... I got it for well under market value in good condition. Yeah. But you're looking. I couldn't honestly say, but I often see it go for over a hundred. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Hundred twenty average, I think. So Alyssa said that she's ordered it, but it takes ages. Yeah, I'm guessing. Uh... Weirdly, I ordered the Monkey King mech before the summer sets, and it came way after, which is weird. Oh, wow. Huh. Yeah. Also, Star this is just for you, mate. Ah, oh, mm. 05 turbo tank. Yeah, but I've not seen that. That makes window. So is that the one that crashes at the beginning on the line or the pod racing? <laughs> <laughs> Funny man. <laughs> Funny. And it's got the light up mace window. Oh, no, that's Do you have that one? Yep. That would be so expensive. One second, hey, one second. I traded that for my nub nub uh, cup. <laughs> <laughs> up there. Oh my and I've got the figures still in the box. Wow. Uh, the original, I guess, Commander Cody, and then the oh, amazing yeah. lights up. And my um, amazing suit misprinted as well, which is quite funny. So, so London Bridge Bricks has said it uh, will even have Titanium 2 on with a Ninjago pirate ship. Pretty cool. Ooh. I'm guessing that'll be oh. Destiny County. Uh, mm -hmm. That is pretty awesome. 
<laughs> Simon said, will there be plenty of ARGs? British? <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. Uh, people saying they would love to put a castle in Slack. <laughs> yeah, I haven't got enough room for that. Well, I am going to a new hidden side castle. I know Brick Clicker really likes that castle. So. Yeah, it's good. I want to get that. Aren't you going to get every single set that has ever come out? No, <laughs> not even. So, watching the stream and the whole video, you say you make a stream on Sunday. Yes, but it's not on my channel. It's on London Bridge Bricks' channel, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. So we're on it. Yeah. So, kind of a London, uh, it's kind of a UK thing that we're all doing, kind of getting together. So... Someone's obviously doing a bad joke. So, what's a, pi a, a pirate's favorite socks? Do you know what a pirate's favorite socks are? No. Primark. Primark, maybe. Oh, oh I didn't God. even mean. I, th I think that's a better joke than what is going to be the actual answer, I'll be honest. <laughs> Here we go. So, there you go. It, it's over on Matt, his channel. So, there you go. So, you can set a reminder now. Greg is super, super organized with his live streams. Oh, yeah. So, you must be very, very to be there to set a reminder for me. And there's some really nice artwork as well that's been done. Um, yeah, I, I saw that. I, I was thinking. What's I it called? Know. I can't remember his name. I think it was Bricklicker. No, it, that one isn't um, That one isn't Generic Studs one. He's doing other artworks. So, oh. definitely that. In the <laughs> oh, wait, no, it's Brick, it's Brick yeah. Illustrator, that's his name. Yeah, Brick Illustrator. That's the, uh, nice. What are you coming to do? Which one's this? Is this the family portrait? Hey, my iMovie thing got done, finally. I, I, videos. Movie. I like iMovie. Yeah, well, yeah that's why I use the videos at the moment on my iPhone potato. So, it's kind of <laughs> right. My phones aren't potatoes. You should see my phone. That's like, that is a potato. It's like, you could probably put it in the oven, make some fries. Dip them in some sauce, it'd be good to go. Can that be your next video? <laughs> Putting fur in the oven and making fries. Well, he's yeah. excited for a revamp, and that's for uh, London Bridge Bricks' uh, channel. Stay tuned. I think he's got quite a few little, little helpers doing that, so uh, it's going to look good. So, <laughs> your face for Joseph's. Why is that away from the Wow. <laughs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> Calling him out. <laughs> <laughs> I got grease on my. I got chicken on my drawing tablet. Oh, well, that's no. what you get for using a plate. I hope you're happy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, my... so, so, David Rick said, How was he a scam? It's not a scam, it's a joke because it's. What do you mean it was a scam? I didn't um... even give him anything. I just charged him a tenner and then just said, All right, thanks. I think <laughs> so, so, your Facebook is, um, is Favicon. What, I suppose what, it's his sig fig, isn't it? That's um, what. Jack's just been doing his I, I, no, I think that's Qui Gon yeah. Jim. I think <laughs> it's definitely Qui Gon. I thought it was Darth Maul. <laughs> it looks a little bit like my character, but with a face. No, it's just Maul. Yeah, you guys all use the same hairpiece. You, you click here and do it. I can I can draw that with my eyes closed, <laughs> upside down. Now I'm so like. What I find so annoying, guys, right? The reason that I have that hairpiece is because. Lego is ginger phobic, and there's only like one <laughs> ginger hair piece, and that's it. So, all there's you Obi -Wan. Hey, wait, wait, wait. There's, o there's Obi Wan. Look, what about Harry Potter? All the gingers in Harry Potter, you need no, to grow they're it all long. The same. They're all the same hair piece. Obi -Obi <laughs> you gotta grow it out long, then. <laughs> yeah, that's why before it was okay, but now I've had it short. <laughs> yeah, but it looks pretty much the same, just with a center party. Well, exactly, and that's the difference. The so I've got two to choose from. So I went with the more style. <laughs> two, two is better than one. Sure, ginger is the best. Yes, it is. See? Oh, there you Blue go. The best hair color. He has that hair, so that's fine. Yeah, exactly. It's fine if you I don't it. know. Are we not allowed to <laughs> say that the G word? Rick, Rick Click has got no hair. He's got a Mohican. He needs the red oh, yeah. one. No, he, I thought you had an afro. <laughs> Afro, yeah, he's got the same hair as a uh, as Finn from uh, from Star Wars. <laughs> Definitely, well, like a hundred. There isn't, there isn't a lot of hair pieces. That I can see. They're all girls' ones, maybe. But I it's twenty twenty, oh, Chris. Yeah, grow your hair out a bit, and then you've got more options. That's what you've got the one I like is actually the spiky one that's similar to the um, this one. This one's well, kind well, of you got, but the guy from you know the sig fig from the that one. That's yeah, that's like the old Hawkeye one. Quite like that. Yeah, 
like that. Well, it's technically ginger, I suppose, but it's like a light nougat. It's not the orange kind of colour that I like. But anyway, the way it goes. I, I think you should use Syndrome's hair from The Incredibles. Wait a minute. I'm also ginger. Come on, chat. If we can get to 50 <laughs> likes, we'll make this with new hair. He has to make this hair. <laughs> I, made <laughs> the he this hair I made the mistake Come of on, doing chat, a like goal. 50 likes. <laughs> the thing is, this video it will hit 50 likes because on my one of my last videos, I was like, if this hits 40 likes, I was like, that's never gonna happen. And now it's on like 50 because Chris went on five dozen different accounts and like <laughs> so now i've got now i've got to pose like a five-year-old girl so i can get the lego club magazine or i guess yeah that's a cool happy it's that ginger happy wear a red headband from now on and you'll be fine well yeah cool that's what i'm going to do from now on is wear a red headband i look like <laughs> maybe i should just call it to like rambo in it or something instead of <laughs> <laughs> I buy ginger hair pieces, but I would expect some. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yikes! This is getting. This is getting. Uh, this is getting. I was going to call. Hey, guys, how about, about low oh, Change of topic. Oh, yeah. That's some serious shame. It's like an umbrella. I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have to dye my hair now and wax my uh, my boot polish my eyebrows. I'd say if you go for like a Sabine hair, like blue and green. That would be a good shot. I think, yeah, that would really suit oh, us. My diet pink or something, just like... Oh, Wildstar. Wildstar. Wild <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. Here, like, hold on. One second. Right, where is it? Chat, if we can get to 51 likes, reckon it will have this new hairstyle coming soon. I can't see the back. <laughs> With blue <laughs> light blue <laughs> green. Oh, my. I don't want that hair, like mainly because it costs a fortune to get it. Does it? Yeah. It came in the advert calendar, I think. Does it? Yeah, it's from the advert calendar. She was next. Well, advert calendar is not the advert calendar I've got. 2018, I think. Oh, I didn't have the 2018 one. Yeah. Just on it. I've got two of her, I think. <laughs> yeah, right, well, I'm going to have to message her, Greg, and tell her that you've been saying about, you know, horrible things. <laughs> <laughs> well, it stands in the channel. Hey, Sans, if you are, I'm kind of missing all the... Hi, Sans, yeah. Hello, oh, sets. Oh, sets. Hey, mate, how's it going? Oh, I think Tabog's in there as well. So, do you think the drawings look better than like, a picture of a real figure? Uh, I, so. I originally had mine was the original figure photograph that I got in generic stuff to change into a picture. I think it looked kind of better as a drawing, personally. Yeah, like mine, yeah. Did, mine's an actual Lego figure. Like, I go like that. That's just, yeah, I think it looks all right, but. I, I think, think drawing is a reference, isn't it? Really? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think it depends on the figure. If it's like a, of yourself, a your sick figure, I'd say drawing. For sure, I think. Yeah, yeah. my sick figure still doesn't have a face, so. Uh... Yeah, just for reference, I don't look like this. I a, don't walk around in a rebel costume, and B, I don't have green skin with bulging orange eyes. Really? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry to disappoint. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm a golden like, mouthpiece would be pretty cool. So I might have to look into that. I'm not a shark either. I'm I'm not I don't walk around with giant flippers coming out my arms. <laughs> I am I basically am my sig fig. I think you can kind of see it. I'm basically that. I, so I don't actually have any hair. On the enders as well, the figures. So uh, yeah, it's all different. I think it's all personal preference. Mm. Drink no the Red Bull's gone. It gets warm in this room, doesn't it? But when you run out of Red Bull, it's a tragedy. You shouldn't really be drinking Red Bull at a uh, quarter to nine at night. <laughs> uh, it's been one of those weeks this week. And one of those weeks. So you, you're like a teenage boy when I see them. I see like so many kids walking to school with Red Bull and a pack of Doritos. Uh, it's Monster. Monster is the one. Is it? You, I'm not yeah. cool enough. I just kind of <laughs> I walk in. Wow, well, like. I I am a personal ambassador for Lewis Hamilton Monster. <laughs> Because <laughs> Lewis Hamilton is my guy when it comes to Formula One. <laughs> so anyway, that's a you get, do you have an English bulldog as well, then? Yeah, of course. I named my dog Roscoe, of course. Right, um, cool. Because that's the only thing I remember. He did like a Lynx advert with his bulldog for some reason. Yeah, he called his dog Roscoe. Yeah. Yeah. Dog. Wait, he called his dog Costco. Roscoe. Roscoe. Oh, Roscoe. <laughs> that would be some <laughs> brand deal. Voice <laughs> 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 Um, I... 
<laughs> tech protections. I shaved my head a few weeks back. <laughs> I was realizing my sig fig would just be a so, so have you got like one of those weird nipples on your head as well, like a sig fig? Because that would be the weirdest thing if you start shaving it and then you have this weird bump on your head. That's oh, when you turn into Lego. So what are you thinking? You're wearing that BB-8 shirt. I think in the advent calendar this year, there's a figure with like a BB-8 Christmas jumper. So Xantix Dragons asks, new to all this, do you just make up whatever sig fig? No idea how it all works. So I think it's different for different people. Some people just do random ones and have like an alien as their thing. Okay. <laughs> right. like, it's a bit like if you, you know, like, like if you're on a game online or something, you could make your character look like you if you wanted to, or make it look like an orc or something. It's kind of that kind of thing. Yeah. I try to make man at least kind of resemble me. Yeah, I, I just combined my two favorite minifigures at the moment, which is Embo and the new uh, um, Bigs from the New Hope. The is that the one in the four plus pack? No, no, no. He's the one from the X Wing. Ah, right. With the really um, cool helmets. Because there is a Bigs in the. Was it Wedge that's in the four plus one? Is he? Is that one of, yeah, there's a decent one in one of the four oh, plus. Oh, the Snow Speeder. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's really right. Wedge. yeah. I've got the one from the UCS Snow Speeder. He's got the arm printing. I think that's Wedge. No, it's not Wedge. No, it's someone anyway. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Right, we're not getting too far on this. Um, so it shows that it's more of an hour and a, more than an hour and a half to build it. Although I've not been building it, I probably could have done it an hour and a half. But, but you're, you're enjoying it, aren't you? Not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> but that wasn't really a question. That was just you telling her, you're enjoying this, aren't you? Build the set for me. Enjoy this. <laughs> you like Harry Potter, though, don't you? That's your, it's your thing more than mine. You will like Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Name all the characters. Start. <laughs> Come on. Oh my Name god, no. Last, <laughs> last, last, last year, there was the new ride at Universal Florida, the, the Hagrid's motorbike ride. And oh, we, went, we, we, were, we were there around when it opened. So the line, I think, was, I think we waited like four plus hours in line. Jeez. It was crazy. And in the line, we managed to name, I think, we checked after. We did like one of those games where you got to name a character. Yeah. We named yeah. every single character from the book to the film. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> in a four hour period. So that's actually something I can tell with the Galaxy's Edge. So when we went, we queued for ages for the Millennium Falcon ride, and it's not worth a big queue. But later on, we saw a guy playing Sabak, the card game. Yeah. And if you go and play with him and beat him, he says, Oh, do you want to gamble for treasures beyond oh. the wildest dreams? And you say, yeah. And they take you to the front of the Millennium Falcon. Oh, that's so, cool. Cool. so that's a that's a quick tip for you. Oh, You've got to ride it right away. Can we, can, we just, can we just deconstruct what you just said? So you're you're telling people, hey, go gamble all of your money away. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. So he's not play, it's not for money. He just he's just playing it for free. But no one was engaged with uh, it. Right. It's basically outside the toy shop. So you just go play and it shows you the game. It's a game you can buy. And you just that, that, it's like snap. That, that's a thing at Disney World. Like the employees, they've said this like they have that power to like give someone like a magical moment sort of thing. So yeah. it's really nice they do that. So yeah. Oh man. I think we were at Universal once and like we were in the queue for uh, we're about to go in the queue for the Crossy Land ride. The the three D or four D ride is really cool. And there was like a guy with he said, Oh hey, do you want to play a quick quiz and win a prize? And like, yeah. So then the question was, uh, what is Homer's middle name and how do you spell it? And it's just J. J. J, J. And he said, oh, well done. Here's your prize. And he took us right to the front of the fast, like the fast pass to get everything for the ride. And yeah. it saved like two hours and it was brilliant. Yeah, so, it was well cool because we got to the front of the Millennium Falcon and you got to, because you get to choose if you want to be a driver, a gunner or an engineer. The engineers yeah. will do that one. So I like, yeah, you just be pilots straight away on the thing. It was brilliant. Yeah, I want yeah. to be the pilot so bad. Rise so, resist. Oh, I can't wait to eventually do that. If yeah. you if you want to get on the at the front of the ride 100 percent of the time, I've got a bit of a trick. So you know when like the start of the queue is if you just walk up there and then you just say, Hey, I'm going here, and then if they try and stop you, you just walk past them anyway. Then the plan is when the queue is like inside later, you just get mixed them with the crowd and then they won't kick you out. Or if all if it go if push comes to shove, you can always take some like big tweezers with you and just cut your way into the ride. <laughs> This is how not to, to queue. Yeah, just just it from a tenner. Just say, can I go on? I'll give you a tenner. 
Tell me to the I remember point. though for the Hagrid ride, they were just like, even if you leave to get drinks and that, from like this point onwards, oh, it was like, as soon as you got into the Harry Potter area, if you leave the queue, you have to go all over again. There's no leaving the queue, anything, because it was just that long and that busy. Yeah, so my one up here is the lightsaber from Galaxy Edge. Yeah, that one there. Nice. Okay. I think uh, I really want to get one of those. Yeah, it's really cool because you can change the crystal inside. So you can buy the crystals additionally for ten dollars, and then you can change them. And they all change the different sound effects and stuff as well, which is pretty cool. Yeah. They're very expensive. Um, They're a very expensive toy, but, but they are pretty cool. My saber from two thousand and six. Obi Wan Episode One, which I think still works. Isn't that isn't that Obi isn't that uh, Jar Jar Binks's lightsaber? Oh, of course. No, it's yeah. purple. <laughs> it's just purple for us. <laughs> There's a new um, Black Series Darth Revan saber, Darth Revan saber coming out, and that's going to oh, come wow. apparently with Kyber crystals, so you can change it from purple oh, to red. I did quite like so the, cool. um, the new, I think it's Black Series, the Kylo Ren's lightsaber. Yes, um, cool. the newer one or the older one? No, the new one. Yeah, that's the one I played with in the Disney store in London. Anyway, it was pretty damn cool. I, I was in, um, I was in, yeah, Disney World, Florida, mm. in the Hollywood oh, Studios. Yeah. Before Gags Edge opened, I was looking at all the Star Wars props, just nerding out. And all of a sudden, Disney World comes and taps on the shoulder and goes, Here, hold this. And it okay. just me the saber. I'm just oh, confirming God. everyone is asking to see the lightsaber. Okay, generic stud is not flexing. He wants to see the lightsaber. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay. So you can play that game. They're having a flex off. I'm not flexing, I'm just showing. It's what yeah, okay, Crash. That's what someone who flexes would say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I just this got Gucci the, off, but you know. This is the lightsaber that I got, but there's four different ones you can get, and then you can you have like about three or four different parts because these all change. So you basically have like different ones of this to choose from, different, and then you get to make it when you're there. And then basically, the middle bit here, this bit here opens up if you unscrew, and with a bit of prizing it open, that's where the crystal is. So that's the green one, and then you basically just can change it for any of the other ones. So I've got the red, blue, yellow, and green. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty cool, right. and they're made of metal, so they're pretty they're pretty heavy. Um, I think I I think I weighed it. It was quite. It's like two pounds or something, wasn't it? It's quite heavy. Yeah, yeah, I like the one you made because it reminds you a lot of Kanan's, the top. I like it. I it's just think it looked a little bit like um, yeah, Luke's from Return of the Jedi. Yeah. Love Luke's yeah. You know what? That's cute, Chris, but just get a, get a load of these bad <laughs> boys. They were at Smith's for £5. <laughs> oh, look at this. Yeah. I have Kanan's here. You don't have Kanan's. I've got Luke's. Look at these. They flick out. They flick out, but and I've also got Anakin's. Or it's not Ray's, it's Anakin's. Okay, if anybody says it's Ray's, then I'm going to attack you. But I've also got a custom Disneyland Paris one that's oh, pure 100% plastic. It's Mickey's Look at this. Safe. It, does, it doesn't even work. Oh, it does work. Is it going to work? Oh my eyes! A torch. It. Well, I lost <laughs> the blade uh, in Paris, so. But do you have? Oh my god, that looks so good. <laughs> It's pretty cool that it actually goes up and, and it actually does. I don't think you'll see it on the camera, but when you hit it, it does make the effects as well. It's pretty cool, but very expensive. It's basically just a very expensive ornament once you've done with it at Disney. But um, it's pretty cool to have around Disney because you can now use them in Disney. So when they look dark and stuff, you see people kind of waving them around and things. But yeah. But you can also use them if you want to get to the front of the queue. <laughs> they say no. Just yeah. You can also use them for whacking people if you want to. I just think the fact that mine's in 2006 <laughs> means I automatically win. I have that same one. Is that That's not a Black Series one, is it? No, is there like a little that. lightsaber that comes out the bottom? This, this is actually pretty big. I had one, I had Obi-Wan's lightsaber, and I think it was the Clone Wars one, but from the bottom, there was like a button you pressed, and a tiny little blade, dagger blade, oh, came out. Oh, yeah, this is the episode, this is Phantom Menace, Obi-Wan. Oh, right. This is massive. Yeah. <laughs> People are saying, ones are like 200 helmet on now as well, because I do have the Vader helmet up there, but that's not going nice. on. Nice. <laughs> Lord Vader. <laughs> <laughs> well so, so I have Darth Maul's lightsaber. Yes, so good. Nice. So the one in Galaxy's Edge you can get, you have to buy two if you want to get yep. both of them together, which is a bit weird. 
So it's like twice the price because you have to buy two lightsabers. I've seen a belt edge looks so badass. <laughs> yeah. Let's be honest, when you made that lightsaber when you ran around print. Oh, cool. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. I had a droid, I had I've got a droid backpack as well that the droid goes in. So oh, I had yeah. a droid on my back and then the lightsaber. <laughs> oh, I need to find my R2D2 for the next <laughs> So I can get that. It's like a pretty big I'm, one. I'm definitely not putting the the helmet on because uh, oh. five minutes it takes me twenty minutes to put it on and off. Do so, it. Uh, do it. Do it. Do it now. Do it now. I'm gonna do it in the uh, the Friday stream if uh, if it's going sour. We're talking about that. Show no. I think I think I'm gonna be there, so it probably will go sour. Let's be honest. There we go. So if the next is gonna be there, it will go sour, and we'll be probably lightsaber fighting <laughs> through the screen. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> people keep saying do it. I'm not doing it. I don't feel the peer pressure. Or do I? <laughs> yeah. I reckon you do. Especially things it's only on 24 likes anyway. It's nowhere near 50 likes. Oh, <laughs> we got to sort that out. Summon no. the Armada. I don't mind too much anyway. It's great that we've had quite a lot of people actually watching, which is quite nice. So in the chat, is anyone back to normal yet? Going out more, doing shopping, or is it still everyone stuck inside? Because we, we've been not going out, have we? We've stayed in. I've been pretty much just staying in. Like the the yeah. most exciting place I've been to is the supermarket, which isn't too thrilling. Oh, <laughs> is, it a saber? is that the one that spins around? Oh, no, I hate that thing. That's wicked. When they, when they fly Oh my god, I hate I it. Got that one somewhere, like as in the minifigure one. The minifigure cool. is brilliant, but in the yeah. show, when it flies, I want to hit the screen. I've got this one as well, and I don't know what this is from. Do you know what this is from? Is this is from Rebels, this guy. That's Free Maker Adventures, the Lego kind of series. Oh, that was awful. Ah, that's that's another one of my awful TV series. It yeah, looks pretty badass, but it looks cool, but yeah. Yeah. Well, that was I've got oh, the custom dark saber. That's quite cool. That's probably the best lightsaber piece I've got. Oh. Uh, so people are saying, been working each week. Wow. So you've been having to go in then, uh, your face. Damn. My life is indoors, inside. Sean's asked how long I've been collecting Lego. Very a long time. Um, fifteen minutes. Cool starts next Wednesday. Um, uh, I've been oh, yeah. to the city of London. Boom. Nice. Yeah. I suppose if you're inside London, it's not too bad. But yeah, I wouldn't like to go on the underground at the moment with what's going on. I wouldn't like to go on it anyway. Brock has said, use the saves to destroy your entire collection in the background. Yeah, no, I'm okay, thank you. Oh, I've got <laughs> 500,000 subscribers, I might do that. <laughs> Execute. As they've still laid off three months now in the living, do living lockdown to the full. So is that your... Um, Furloughed then, mate. Uh, usual potential job worker. Uh, Duck Town came back. Hopefully, nothing will. Oh, no, nothing's happened. We're just carrying on with the build. People are back to school and work. Work in a bar, restaurant, but I was helping with them with takeaways. Ah, that's cool. Takeaways are very important, as the McDonald's earlier confirmed. Yeah, I, I don't know what, what's happened to me because I'm in the last year of uni, for example. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, can, I don't think I'm going to have a normal lecture at all this next year. This is what I find the weirdest for, like, people starting university this year. Because oh, God, yeah. People are going to be spending fortune if they're going to Oxford or Cambridge or, like, going away. Cambridge, I think you said, they're going to be shut. They're not going to open at all yeah. next year. They're not um, opening. Yeah, so what Cambridge are doing, they're not doing lectures. They're doing, because they do, um, like, <laughs> oh, what am I called? Like, the tutor with the people they're doing then. Yeah, I, th I think that's what's happened to us. That we'll have like, small, I think we'll we'll yeah, be in like, like seminars or something. Marketing to the max. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was your McDonald's experience like? Um, it was good. Yeah. Was it chicken nuggets? Uh, not chicken nuggets. Do you think I'm some kind of casual? No, <laughs> I got chicken nuggets. Yeah, I got a three-piece chicken select meal. My <laughs> god, that sounds amazing. Yeah, it was really good. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah, I haven't got the option, sadly. So I, I, I just like, you know, I just want to get it done. Is anyone else to take us in Scotland and all that? Yep. 
I get free uni over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Yeah, that's very good. to Scotland. You got to live there, babe. Start working next week. Kids go to kindergarten. Oof. That's going to be a big change then. Very big change. I have to go to school. You're working in nightclubs to close down. Yeah, it's just a. Oh, I think Greg's um, Greg's yeah, going. Hey, in. Hey, hey, mate, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Tomorrow, Friday stream. Bye, Greg. Um, so yeah, if you guys get a chance, I think it starts at seven on a Friday, if I'm not mistaken. As long. Um, um, we'll be on that. Uh, well, I will be. I think Rogue and Generic Stud might be on there as well. I'm not too sure. And then we've got one on Sunday as well, so that'll be pretty good. I'm dying for McDonald's apparently. Well, Sean, this is this is your own. <laughs> Last week. You've had dominoes, and that made everyone in the chat want dominoes. <laughs> so, oh, here's a new guy. Hey, mate, how's Lego Collector doing? How you doing? So, it's on Friday, and it's six on Sunday. There you go, guys. Yeah, I won't be at Sundays at the very start. I'll be on in like yeah. half an hour, an hour. Yeah. And I, I think everyone is in need of a haircut. You did mine. It's not too bad, actually. It's not the worst. Hey, my hair is fabulous. What are you saying, man? Come on. Very luscious, luscious locks, I would say. You've got three. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yep, take care, Greg. Yeah, mine was absolutely awful. If you saw my live stream from like two weeks ago, it was like, <laughs> like this, and you desperately <laughs> needed a haircut. So it took it took ages, didn't it? Because it slowly did it. Just to, I said, it doesn't matter. I'd shave it all off if it didn't work. But it's not too bad. <laughs> oh, I want to see that. that a little funny. <laughs> Next yeah, time you cut it, do a really bad job, please. In fact, I've actually got. Pass me, I'll see if I can do it without cutting. I'm like a mohawk. I'll be, I'll be fine. It's all right. I've got my, my uh, driver's license. He's going to cut himself. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you cutting your hair now? <laughs> or what, what's happening? I'm confused. Is he cutting his hair? He's going to no, leak his driver's license. license. Oh, right. I, I have no hair. <laughs> yeah, just... There you go. <laughs> Yeah, no, I was trying to cover up my details on my driver's license. Good man. <laughs> Smart man. <laughs> all, why would you do that? We're already trustworthy, Chris. Oh, yeah. Nice yeah. <laughs> because he cuts his hair with clippers. Yeah. I, 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 I don't, yeah. That's what we kind of did. But, um, yeah, I just look really, I look like a baby. As BFAB says, I look about 12 anyway. So when I'm, <laughs> I actually just look like a baby. So, um, yeah. Hope great guys right. going. See you later, mate. Well, Lego Collector wants to know how much you got the house for. So Lego Collector says, watch the Lego haul you posted today and really enjoyed the video. How much did you buy the Harry Potter? for? The so this was £65 because um, we got it from Lego to get the uh, this. Do, 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 the little roadster. It's pretty cool, actually. It's quite a cool little set. Um, now, does it come with those sound effects? Yeah. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, uh, yeah, that's the reason I got it. But Amazon are already doing like five, ten pounds off on this, and they're doing ten pounds off the what's it called? The observation tower, is it called? astronomy tower, astronomy tower. That one, sorry, yeah, astronomation. So, um, affiliate link, good offers at the moment. Um, so my dad gave me a baldy two months ago, and it's still not great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I've got. I've actually got four of the hot rods. <laughs> wow, of course you do. There's some kid sat at home by himself. He's no. got absolutely nothing, and he no, doesn't no. have a hot rod because I don't, of you. I don't have a hot rod because of you. No, you don't have a hot rod because you didn't buy anything from Lego. There's plenty available. You bought it from AliExpress. <laughs> well, that's amazing. Don't Lego. buy Latin, buy Lego. I keep yeah, I was pretty disappointed that Amazon weren't doing the promo for the room requirement. It's pretty upsetting. For the what? For the room requirement? Yeah. yeah. There was no there was no hot rod promo and I was upset. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The daily Brit knows what he's on about. He knows. <laughs> so, I also have an Amazon affiliate link, guys. So <laughs> no, no. no we affiliate. don't want to hear it. We don't need to hear that. But, um, it definitely helps out with me purchasing Lego. But uh, <laughs> I, I actually, to be honest, a lot of my Lego are actually Lego exclusives. So I always link to the Lego store for everything I get anyway. But, Wait, uh, you, use your own affiliate link. Oh. Yeah, and I use my That's affiliate. That's illegal. Boy. No, I, I use my affiliate to buy Lego because yeah. it wouldn't work. I do. Of course you do. You're such a con artist. So my hot net what goes for 58 quid. It's this, this the um, the private drive goes for 58 quid at the moment. Uh -huh. 
That's so weird that it's already... It was on, like, back order on day one, so I don't know why happened. Amazon have pronounced that. If you said this stream was supposed to end four minutes ago, yeah, it was. Um, did you 24 want to hours, hours, 24 hours, 24 hours, 24 hours. Yeah, let's, get, let's go through to midnight. That is the end, isn't it? Is that the end of the pipe? Yeah, you just got the pipes to do. Yeah, that's the end. Do you guys yeah. want to stay on for a bit, or...? Yeah, I've got to. How about the chat? Are you guys bored yet, or are you? If we can get to twenty-eight likes, chat. This will go for twenty-four hours. No, we're going to more. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it might go until I finish the build. Yeah, you can get drinks. Yeah. Okay, so I think I'm going to solo it now, though. So, so oh we'll... no, <laughs> prepare yeah, for it to go wrong. It all goes, it all goes downhill from here. It's so going south now. The bags four and five might need to get redone at some point, but it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> instruction manual. That's that's how much I need. I've closed the instruction manual. It's like, yeah. yeah it's <laughs> just going to look at the. I, I want to do that one day and just see how uh, it goes. Within the chat. Just eyeball it. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Oh, says we're at twenty-eight likes. Here we go. Twenty-four hours, boys. Let's go. You have to do it now, Chris, because you didn't say you didn't say no. So. Well, as soon as I work, and I ha I have to, I start work at five mm, yeah, morning. Just work, just quit work. your job and do YouTube full time. Work is work is for the week. Lego. I would love to do YouTube full time, but I'm going to need a little bit more than four hundred subscribers to do that. I can do it, and I've only got two thousand. <laughs> With your fifty pound a week, like. <laughs> yeah, I can pay a mortgage. You pay. Rent, I wouldn't have to buy the Lego sets that I want. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Ooh, Ooh, here's the new edge of the piece. Oh, the nice. new one. Yeah, it's pretty oh, cool. That's right. What you do is what I do is you destroy your sets for a mock, then rebuild them a few months later. It's great. Yeah, but that, that involves having creativity, mate. I can't I can't build not on the instruction booklet. I have to just copy exactly what it says. <laughs> Although I am getting slightly better with my mocks in my city. I don't know if you guys have watched any of them yeah, or not. Getting there. Getting a, a little bit. bit. A little bit. Oh. Well, a little bit better, or you watch them for a little bit. <laughs> a little Probably bit better. <laughs> <laughs> I can watch it for one minute now, rather than ten seconds. Oh, thanks, mate. Thanks a lot. <laughs> hey, I get quite good retention rates for these ones. But, uh, they, they're my best videos. Not, that just means that my other videos don't get <laughs> watched at all. <laughs> Speaking of haul, I guess here's a good question for us in the chat. What's the next set we're all gonna get? Together. Yeah, uh, well, just in general, what, what's the next set we we individually might purchase each? Starting with Brick Clicker, um, the Hogwarts Great Hall, the ninety pound one with nice. the Hot Rod promo. Is that is that in stock? No, it keeps it comes back in stock every couple of days on back order. Oh, so nice. I'm just hoping before the twenty first, it'll come back in stock. Yeah, uh, generic stud, uh, probably the Skull Sorcerer's Dragon. Maybe because that that is a beautiful set, and if I get that set, then I'll have every single one of the ninja from this series, which is good. Hey, there you go. I think that's Ooh, that'd be pretty cool. Um, breaking up. So I have a lot of sets that I haven't shown yet. Um, so <laughs> all the sets that I haven't got, it's gonna be the roller coaster. Um, what a flex! What a flex! Because I, I need flex. to get before it retires. Because yeah, that's fair. And I know that Bricklick is on the ball as well because he wants that roller coaster too. So I keep waiting for him to message in. Uh, yeah. this <laughs> I know. I'm looking every day to see if it's on sale. That was the first thing I did. You know when uh, Smith's had 15% off? I was like, roller coaster, roller coaster. Uh, <laughs> uh, looking at the chat, Takab says AAT. So yeah. he's dual, uh, dual face production says ATRT 7502. I think that's the 501st battle pack. Um, yeah, I've got the Razor Crest on a uh, pre order at the moment. But obviously, I think there'll be Star Wars sets will be out before them, won't they, though? Yeah. yeah, it's first. Oh, uh, no, uh, Dual Face Productions is getting the 501st ATRT from 2013. That's a good set. Brick, Daily Brick says Hogwarts Castle, hopefully tomorrow. Nice. Ingrid says Pig Food Truck Monkey Kid. Great set. Ooh, that's uh, a good one. Han says something, but not sure yet. And I have, the, uh, yep, nice. I have the Monkey King mech from the. Um, from the what's it called set, the uh, the Monkey King set, but I wasn't yeah. too sure on the, the food truck because I really like it, but it's just massive. I think that I, was your I feel like if any will go on sale, that will be the one. Do you reckon? I, I just, I just, I don't know what it is. I think it's because it's like a city set. I think, or not that. I just think, I don't know. I think it'll be out for a while. I think that'll be worth getting down the line. I just think it'll be on sale. Uh, myself, uh, I'm trying not to buy any Lego sets till August. 
first, and the set I'm going to get is the AAT. Right now, I've just pre-ordered a bunch of Black Series stuff, and I've got some last, like my last few orders of Star Wars merchandise are coming in. So once they arrive, that's okay, it. I've got a good Star Wars question for you, Rogue. Out of oh. all the new sets, if you could only buy one, which would be the best one to get for the like desirability of like? Oh. Well, it's the desirability is between the AAT and the Firefly's Battle Pack. But because the I I dislike the build of the AAT, I have to say Fire First Battle Pack. Otherwise, maybe Razor Crest if you don't have the ATST Raider. Razor Crest. But what about Ahsoka and things though? Isn't she like insanely expensive? Yeah, she she well she's going down in price, but yeah, and also there's the three thirty second the Ahsoka Trooper as well. So for figures, AAT, but overall set, I'd say the most desirable is the Fire First Battle Pack because. The builds are better, and you still get great figures from season seven. Right. Uh, myself, I probably will get AAT first, but that's mainly because I already have, for example, a five hundred first trooper, and I want. I'd like to get one of every clone legion. So three thirty second, I think, is the main figure I want for this whole wave. Um, and I also want the rise resistance set, which isn't that popular, but I just love the, the set the figures, for example. And I think the build's okay. But the price, well, I think will confirm my. If the price is, say, over 100, I'm not sure. 100 or less, I think it's worth it. It'll be down in price. Like, it'll be be yeah, because Rebel Combat Frigate, everyone skipped it because they didn't like the build. And now that's like one of the most expensive aftermarket like Star Wars sets. I think it'll be, I think it'll be another Darth Malik set I do. I think it'll be another one that no one will buy and then it'll be worth quite a bit of money in the future. Yeah. Ex exactly. And like, it's based off what is considered right now, I believe, the best ride in the world. So okay. it's got that you know ride resistance. So it's got the droids, and I can't remember her name, but there's that really cool female character who look the figure looks great and really yeah, accurate. Yeah, she's a, a rebellion. She's a rebel that trash land with rebel book. Um, yeah, and, and like if I get that set, what'd be cool is I can have a little setup of Galaxy's Edge because I've got Falcon, I've got, and then I'll have that set, and I've got Hondo as well. He's a big part of Galaxy's Edge, so I'll have all them together. Which would be nice. Um, question some things in the chat. Take care, Lip and Destroyer. I'll see you later, mate. Thanks for tuning in. See you. Dual Face hopes as a gift with purchase when Star Wars drops. If nothing else drops August 1st, maybe, but I think if Force Friday happens this year, it'll probably be then. Um, Brick so, it, will you put Pivot Drive? Oh, sorry, Jerry. Sorry, no, go ahead. I was just, gonna, oh, I, was just I was just wondering, like, for um, what did you say, Force Friday? Yeah, that, that won't happen this year, surely, because I thought it was only for when new movies came out. Yeah, that, that's the thing, yeah, because I don't think it happened in 2018, because Solo had already been out at that point. Right. So it depends if they do, well, because, example, the Razor Crest comes out in September, and there it depends what they, how they phase the Star Wars sets this year, but you're right, I don't think they'll be forced right in, but if, if they do do it for pure marketing, like, sales. And well, it was kind of like May the 4th yeah. wasn't really worth it, was it? Because they couldn't oh, right. the sales, so. Yeah. Too bad, really. Um, let's have a look in the chat. Uh, Brick in it. Will Gallifrey Bricks asks, "Will you put Privet Drive in your city?" So, not at the moment because I don't have a residential area. But I was thinking, actually, if this set goes down in price substantially, I might get a couple of them because I think they would look quite good as a yeah, a little um, like a little like residential like area. Yeah, it's either that or kind of have a like an area that's just like. Something like where it's just characters where they live. So this would be like High Potter one, and then do like the Flintstones houses, and then just like a stupid kind of lane right. where yeah. like where all the kind of people would potentially live. That could be uh, pretty cool. Dual Face Productions asks to me, but I guess the rest of the panel will go as well. Uh, Rogue, how many Fire Fest battle packs are you getting? Two or three? One to open and one either to open or just keep sealed for a while, just for pure because it's to do with. Ryan, everything I think it's quite a cool thing. The whole Fire Fest Battle Pack movement, I think it's quite a special set. I don't think hot take, I don't think it's gonna skyrocket in value after like people yeah. think. I okay. think if any set is gonna skyrocket, it will probably be the AAT, and that's only if they don't, for example, put that 330 second troop in another set. And of course, season seven of like the figures in that set are, are very sought after. Whereas if I go first, Everyone's gonna have that set, so it's not gonna skyrocket. Whereas, like sets like the Combat Frigate, where no one got it and no one got Rebels Ahsoka, skyrocketed because everyone now wants Rebels Ahsoka. Yeah, the two that are definitely on my list, other than the Razor Crest, is the um, the uh, the AAT maybe, 
Mm. And um, I really want that buzzard because I, I want to finish my collection yeah. of the Knights of Ren. So I uh, think as well, that's one that might go under the radar just because it's not a standout vehicle from yeah. The right oh yeah. The I literally want that set just for the figures. I think the shit looks cool, but it's mainly just because I really want to finish the, uh, the collection of them. Um, higher tease as life in chat. And Daily Brick said, I'm getting two, but a ton of troopers from Bricklink. Yeah, I think, again, because everyone's getting it, I think Fire First troops you're going to see be a little bit cheap for a while. Um, just because everyone's going to have it, so it's like it can't be that expensive. Um, on eBay, Clone Wars or Sega cost 80. I don't see any listing. Uh, again, I've seen her go down a little bit um, because of the new set. But yeah, once the new set retires, she will go up in value again, I believe. Um, so I've so got two Clone Wars Ahsoka we've had so far, except, of course, the Rebels one, which is £100 right now. Jesus Christ. Yep. Exactly. So and that's the detail of the original set. <laughs> is the... Um, I, I Just get this straight. Is the Clone yeah. Wars Ahsoka, you mean, the one that came in the um, the police... Yeah, yeah, it's one, I think they mean the one that came in the environment uh, cannon and the uh, police gunship. Yeah, I think that's what they mean. Is that the one that's eighty pounds? Did you say? Well, that's what they claim, but I don't. Th I think they mean the rebels one because I think they go for like thirty-five, forty yeah. recently. She's gone down in price. Cool. I have that one, so if I want, I, I was thinking eighty pounds is like definitely would sell that. Yeah, no, I, th I think they I mean the Rebels one has always been the expensive one, but um, but yeah, the new one will bring th those figures down. I was really price. wondering, like, what's left to finish on this because I built it, and then I realised it's the car, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, dual face makes a good point. I'm hoping the three thirty second, the Ahsoka helmets are cheap, so I can put them on the pirate first. I think you'll see that a lot. Yeah, People yeah. are going to like buying the helmets off of Brick right. and then putting the helmets on the pirate first battle pack troops. I probably, I might do that, but again, if I have one of those the Soka Troopers, I won't be that, because I don't army build, so I'm not going to be that bothered. Yeah, I kind of just kind of collect one of each character, really, that's my yeah. kind of thing. But, like, know. right now, I'm missing one Clone Legion, and I have every single one, and it's the Swamp Trooper from Revenge of the Sith, everyone else I have, in terms of Legions, which is cool. Harry's got the Dark One. Um... Some little legs in here. Oh, yeah. Let's have a look. See, I'm not going to put it on. Tech says, Next stud, I'll give you a tenner for a soaker. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I'll, I'll do that. I could yeah. not care less for my Ahsoka minifigure. I'll be honest. She sat in a box under my bed. Like, I would happily take Can we get a ban on generic stud? <laughs> I'm offended, man. Mistreatment of. I've pre-ordered the Black Series Rebels Ahsoka. Oh, that's good. Yeah, on the dark because because the original one goes for like sixty, and she's twenty mm. pre-order. You're not allowed to talk about something that's not going to go on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Carb Studio says the Rebel Frigate is two hundred on eBay. Yep, that set is very expensive. Oh, okay, I want the Commander Sato from that set. And he's only like a tenner, so I might get him eventually. Why don't you just get the whole set? Just pay the whole two hundred, nah, just got, just to get that minifigure. I've got Ezra. I don't. Who's in that? Got yeah. I've got Ezra. I'm not really that bothered about Rebels Ahsoka. Uh, at least because I'm getting the Black Series figure, I'm not too bothered. I want Sarko. I think it comes with like a Stormtrooper or someone. But I'm not too in the set. It's this the ship that gets blown up at the end at the start of series two. The command ship that gets blown up. <laughs> Oh, did you uh, favorite film, chat. Hello. Favorite um, film. Hey, J Studios and Solo Brick Builder as well. Back to the Future Two is the best film ever made. Really? Yeah, I love it. It's great. What's that? Back, Back to the Future Two. Back to the Future Two. Uh, I don't like Back to the Future. I'm not. Sure. I didn't even know that was a thing. What back? You didn't know Back to the Future was a thing. No, I thought that was only one film. Like... on generic stud and brick. Like, I'm, I'm joking. I love... I, I, I'm, I'm kidding. I do like... Good. I do like... You have redeemed yourself. So, so I... the brick, like, Back to the Future is a trilogy, just so you know. I only thought that it's... was one film. They, yeah, they decided to drag it out for no particular reason, just to... Oh. 
It's a bit of a cash grab. It's like Star Wars and they just dragged it out. Yeah, Star Wars, I mean, they didn't really need the prequels, to be honest. Nobody cares about the prequels. Right, can we get a lifetime ban on the <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm a prequel, I'm a prequel fanboy, okay? Good. Stuff. I'm a Lego movie fanboy. Lego movies Never are garbage. Hey, 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 Hey Sarah, okay. and if you're watching, hey Mike. So Starbucks in the chat. Oh hey, yeah. how's it going? Sorry, I'm concentrating because I was just building the uh, finishing building this. Now we're already over because I usually do seven thirty till nine, but we were so close to the end that I just wanted to finish it. So um, we're just building the car, which is a Ford, but I can never remember the model of Ford it is. Uh, in Ford, chat, can I get an answer? This, this is very oh, Ford important. Ford Angry. Yeah, the Ford Angry. That's right. That is right. So, oh, chat, who did the better yeah. job building this? Miss Brickin' It or Brickin' It? Who did the better job? It seems like I've done two bags in about five minutes. <laughs> mm. but you got to think about entertainment value, okay, Chris? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. is, is that how you want me to build? <laughs> no, you make that into like a gif. <laughs> <laughs> He's already doing it now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anything that's on live. Uh, yeah, Xanthic Dragon, uh, that's how you say your name. Yeah, the Wizard of Oz minifigures were awesome in the CMF series. Yeah. It's a um, so with like, this is just a really random question. I don't know if anybody's, nobody's probably going to know the answer to this off the top of their heads. But so I know with like copyright stuff that after a certain time period, like nobody is allowed to claim ownership of, of like a certain property. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I'm wondering, like, how far is, uh, like, the original Mickey Mouse and, like... Don't mess with Disney. That's our best advice. Don't I'm, mess with I'm, Disney. I'm pretty sure that they've changed the laws around yeah, it. Yeah, they've they changed it. They started changing it with design. So um, uh, yeah. who owned the Charles Eames rights to the original chairs that were designed in 1935 or something. The Eames. Basically, that came up for renewal, uh, which is why you're getting loads of replicas. And they just changed the... the, the uh, yeah, basically. So now they can do it. So. Like my best advice on YouTube is don't prod Mickey Mouse because <laughs> you get known. Disney and Nintendo are the two companies on YouTube. Oh, Nintendo is weird. They don't even want you to stream their own games. So right. Unless you're an, an official Nintendo partner, you're not allowed to stream. I think or even review Nintendo games. Apparently, that's so yeah. dumb. Though. That is stupid. Yep, it's it's their brand protection thing. Um, it's just it's dumb. I don't understand that. They're getting free hey, publicity. Hey, Brixo Studios, and nope, I still haven't found that wedge plate. <laughs> I found another three when I was doing out my thing the other day. Yeah, I bet you've just got like a little 3D printer and you're just printing them now. I've actually made a whole uh, cupboard down there just for the red base plate. Just so I can start like throwing well, no, I've got the red base plate, the wedge plate. The red no, base plate. plate, sorry. The wedge plate. No, the red base plate is awesome. No, I haven't really found anymore. I do have. I've only got one. I think they're pretty rare, to be honest. They're already in the palace cinema, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they've got. Uh, I've got the palace cinema, so they've got to be in more sets. I think I got mine in the three-in-one cafe corner one. Is where I got mine. Oh, wait, do you mean the thirty by thirty-two? No, I mean, I'm like the 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 missing. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I need. To no, I don't have a red base plate. No, 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 no. I do have a grey base plate, and it's a bit of a weird way I got it, actually. It's from the Lego Ludo game. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it comes with a grey base plate. That game's fun. I had the original one, Ludo, years ago. When I was a kid. I was, I was a champ of that game. I destroyed. Put this, thing on. We're almost, this is quite a lot of pieces for this little car. This is a, an expert build. I think this is eight plus, so I should be. He's struggling. He's struggling. Yeah, I think it's brilliant. I'll do that in five minutes, yeah, mate. I think she should take over. I just want to say, with all you guys, when you, you, you talk about me, I've never Rick, seen someone so riled up on this thing as I did with a. Uh, you know, hold on, hold on. What did you just say? 
<laughs> your dungeon, you were getting wet. The thing stopped working. The thing <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you broke your set. Like, I, lost so, I, I lost so much self respect that stream. <laughs> and viewers. Pieces for you because you kept playing with your strike. Oh, yeah. I was like, hey, so, hey, uh, Rogue Runner, do you know where my pieces are? He's like, oh, yeah, that's right there. I was like, oh, okay, cool, thanks. <laughs> In your instruction manual, I think I think he, has, he has better sight through my 240p crappy web, webcam than I do when I'm stood like staring at it. Also, um, Brick Click has been looking at my other channel, which I'm not going to mention, and he noticed that I wear glasses. And I said to him, Yeah, that's why I can't see the instructions because I don't wear glasses. <laughs> we found out at last. You have worn glasses on this channel, yeah, very rarely though. Yeah. What you should what you should do, Brick, in it, is you get your Vader helmet, you put glass lenses in the helmet, <laughs> wear that. <laughs> that would be one way to do it, I suppose. Mm. Yeah, I should wear my glasses, I just don't like wearing them. Yeah, because, mate, in this time, like, in the time you've taken to build this Ford Angler, I could have built a real Ford Angler. Oh! I could have built the UCS Falcon hey, by you, you want to speed race me anytime, anywhere. Hold on, yeah. hold on. Let, I think we should, We all need to get a set, like an Injago set, of course, so that we can all do a speed, but like a race against each other. Hey, I, I would just smash you all down. Let's, off. Let's all get the UCS Star Destroyer and speed build. <laughs> <laughs> do like a one hour stream. Yeah, mate, I'll give you my draft, Brian. You can buy it for me, yeah? And uh, ship it. Yeah, I mean, you might just get the promo, but we'll see. Oh, okay. I'll definitely build that quicker than you can build this. <laughs> well, there you go. No, I, I would have made that statement, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. It took me an hour that time to build that one bag from that hidden side set. It took me an hour. Oh my god, yeah. yeah. I was yeah. only saying this, Brick Clicker, that like, you gave up on a speed champion set because of the stick. Yeah, exactly. There you go. <laughs> I've never got back to it. To the... I, I take back what I said about you, Chris. I think we get, we need to start attacking Brick Clicker now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't even build a, uh, a, a, a one because it's got stickers on it, so... Oh, no, yeah, no stickers. Uh, I don't like the stickers either, to be honest. I usually do them off stream. I'm well, so I'm so so. channel brings up an interesting point. The thing is, why would you want to buy an Injago set? Uh, can we get a ban? Uh, um, just get in the chair, please. Uh, Ninjago is the best theme that LEGO has ever released. That is, but that they, that they have created. Mm. If we're going to do an Injaga set, we're going to have to rush, aren't we? Because obviously they're retiring, it seems. So. Uh, yeah. Also, oh, Jay, Jay, J Studios, this is StreamYard as well. Um, yes, it are, is StreamYard, yeah. They're just asking because there's no StreamYard logo, but what we did, oh, we got a, a pencil on it and we just rubbed it off the screen. So, <laughs> oh, no. or, or we just paid for the real version. Yeah, incoming flex, incoming flex. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a flex. We use it for a lot of things, such as the podcast. Yeah, we we did a live stream. We get a live on it. We get a live kind of stream. Arnold Classic. There's so much flexing going on. In what? Sorry. The Arnold Classic. What's that? It's yeah, a what? body. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only cultured when I'm this stream. Okay. <laughs> you, have you ever watched Phineas and Ferb? Yeah, sadly. You say sadly. You say I'm the uncultured one. You don't <sighs> even like song hey, but talking of it stuff and um, there's the um movie kid chinese version on youtube at the moment with english dub. <gasps> wait is it really yeah i thought you didn't oh. like monkey kid generic stud i thought you didn't I like, like it oh, put on the wrong I, I, the hold on this is the thing i like monkey kid but like people saying it's going to kill ninjago just really it grinds is. my gears Riches will kill ninjago i put a lambo on the line like it is yeah, you put a Lambo on the line. Okay, well, I mean, okay. if you can we get can we clip that end of twenty twenty. If it's not God, we can clip the Lamborghini. No, we, we, there we go. Twenty twenty one. End of twenty twenty one. Okay, yeah. He's changing it now. No, we said that originally. Yeah. Okay. Right, Ninjago is the end of this year. You said it. Was All right, there. I'll go for the end of this year then. That's fine. Ninjago is one of the most popular Lego themes the last decade. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. Why does everybody it's hate really Ninjago? Different. I don't understand. I've actually started watching series one, so I'm well behind, but I'm actually quite like it. I've, I've watched, <laughs> I think, most of it. It's I don't hate it. I don't get the hate. It's just that legacy, I skip because I've seen all this stuff. It's a new one, I don't say. I feel like they need to put all of the seasons on Netflix because, like, it's it's so weird the way that they release episodes. But how? Yeah, it's all on Cartoon Network, isn't it, or something? Yeah. yeah, but in in the UK, like we only just got the, a couple of weeks back, a couple of months back actually, 
We only just got the um, season, I think it was like season 12, the season, no, season 11, which was like, you know, that was, and those sets were released like two years ago. Is that it's Hunted? Like, hunted. Uh, no, that was, uh, what was it even called? Uh, that was the Ice Chapter. Oh, that, I actually, I liked the start. I thought it just went south very fast. Did you watch the season? Yeah, I didn't like the it, end. Oh, it was bad. It was, it was such, bad. It was like, oh, it's like it, it was a Martha thing, and it's just, oh, for God's sake. It was, it was bad. It was like, the thing is, every single season, Zane gets kidnapped. That's the thing. Every single Ninjago season, Zane gets kidnapped or dies, and then miraculously <laughs> comes back to life at the end. It's like, oh, you're, ruining, you're ruining this for me. Oh, whoops. I think the show, <laughs> I think the show could definitely end. I don't think the sets will end. Oh, yeah. Sure. I think this isn't as cool as a DeLorean because the wheels are fixed at the bottom. But other than that, it looks kind of cool. That's kind of nice. Is it different to the one thing? It looks pretty like? Yeah, it's right. slightly different. Um, I think people said that the back's a little bit more angular, whereas the other one was a bit smoother. But the... Right, chat. What would win in the race? That or Steamboat Willie? Let us know in the comments below. Or a DeLorean. DeLorean would definitely win. What would win in a fight? That car or a camel? <laughs> <laughs> what would win in a race? A camel or an actual camel? What would win that or the Saturn V in a race? <laughs> Saturn V, Jesus. Depends that can't be fine. The Saturn V, yeah. You just got to put it horizontally and just zoom it along the room. Are they inside? Saturn V is my favourite set of sports. Oh, I've got, I, I've got it on like a bracket uh, behind me. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, no, he's going to start flexing. Oh, we are I am flexing. Late, but we are finished. So there's the uh, pre drive. Looking pretty cool. Nice. On the top. Look at that. I'll do a full review of it next Tuesday, guys. So don't worry. But and then we've got quite a few minifigures. We've got the the Dursleys. That's the little one, and then the two Dudley and then Vernon and the Junior, isn't it? I actually remember the the lady one. Yeah, and then uh, you get Dobby as well. Who I think slightly similar to the uh, the CMF series, but uh, no, I think he's different. Yeah, it's the mouth's different. The mouth. like yeah, this. the mouth does look a bit different. He's smiling rather than like, and he also has his famous cake that he throws as well, which is quite funny. It's levitating. Oh. Um, and then I showed you Privet Drive, oh. and then we got the uh, the small legs Ron. So there is a different ginger hairstyle. Oh, you could use that. Don't particularly want that one, mate. Look at it. I think that suits you. If you put put an extra head, oh, I think yeah, it looks okay. pretty similar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I see the resemblance. Thanks. I think the face print as well looks pretty similar. I scary. actually think this hair piece is the one that's the most similar to my hair, but they don't do yeah. it in ginger. Yeah. yeah, I think you're right. If it was the other way around, if it was like flipped yeah. the other way, it would look but They good. don't do it in ginger anyway, so I could do it in a nugget, a light nougat, which I think is what Captain America has. But, um, See, if you just wore the Darth Vader mask, you could make that helmet your sick thing. <laughs> I'm just going to have yeah. Darth Malak's uh, face mask on and just go from there. Malgus. It's right. Malgus. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Malgus. I keep calling him. Yeah, sorry. Nah, he keeps calling that in at at. Oh. Oh. Is he going to have this again every single stream? 18. Without fail. <laughs> I don't own one anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Right. I love the Malumleon Falcon. That's my favorite. Al the aluminium <laughs> Falcon. Yeah, the aluminium, the aluminium Falcon is my right. favorite. You know, you know that song where it's like, they say millennium. It's like millennium. I always shout Falcon, and then everybody looks at me. It's a very famous Robbie Williams song. Who even is Robbie Williams? He's a legend from Stoke on Trent. <laughs> where are you, sorry, where? Where even is that? Stoke on oh, where? There you go. Apparently, Owen Grady has it. I don't know who that is. Oh, oh is that? Um, oh, oh, yeah. Yes. From Jurassic, Jurassic World, I think. Park, man. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have that in a set? Do I have no, that what? is that's like a very like dark. I've got too many sets around at the moment. Look at that. It work. It's a I really have... really light uh, yeah, really brown, light. isn't it? I have I'm like you don't that. have a brick in it. I have like five of him, so I'm yeah, glad that, 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 that one. Yeah, send me a red wedge plate. Oh, yeah. is, it's not ginger though. It's nougat. But that one, you mean that hair? Nougat. Piece. Yeah, that would that's... work. I thought it was pronounced nugget. Nougat. My I hand said it in the chat, and I, I've never heard that word before. Well, nougat. Yeah. Yeah, nugget spelled N-U-G-G-E-T, but it's... Yeah, see, sure. It's not ginger, it's nugget. 
it's it's pronounced Nubart. Nubart. It's spelled N O U G H A R T. Nubar. Are you are you seriously going to undermine Mahan? The, <laughs> no. He's the no, omnipotent. No. I've made him mad today. He's the omnipotent. So uh, he's, he's omniscient. omniscient. He knows everything. So, um, but yeah, I mean, it's kind of close, but yeah, I prefer the like the ginger because obviously my hair shines off the lights. So, uh, I think Brick is doing right now. Great work. But, um, but right, anyway, that's going to be it for the stream. Thanks, guys, for watching. It's been awesome as usual. Um, do you guys want to say what you're doing this week, or have you got, do you start with you, Rogue? You yeah, first? so I've got my custom minifigure thing going up tomorrow on the Purge Trooper from Jedi Fallen Order. And Clone Commando Scorch from Republic Commando. Shout out if you know those games because they're awesome. Uh, then later in the week, I'm showcasing my entire clone minifigure collection. Oh, that'd be good. Uh, you got like five, haven't you? What's up? You got about five, haven't you? That's really good. Oh uh, yeah, times out <laughs> by times out by six at least, and maybe that's fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> then I've got a video on my Venator mark on Sunday, and by then I'd have a lot more progress done, which is good. And We're yeah, gonna have to collab on a Star Wars set, mate. We're gonna have to do something. I'm sure there's a collection yeah. that we've got and that we can do. Oh, yeah. I've yeah. got a lot of broken up sets that I need to rebuild. So if you've got any of the ones I've got, then Jabba's Palace. If you want to send it, then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> because I need stuff keeps learning that it needs to get taken apart and dusting. To be honest, so it that's does. Oh my god, it's, it, it, it needs a proper clean. So I need to break it down. So, we'll, 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 we'll look into it. I'm sure we can find one. Yeah. So what uh, generic stud? Oh, I've just removed him from the stream. Sorry, oh, I'm back. <laughs> Adding oh, him I'm back. I pressed the wrong one. There you go. So, so I have a video going up, probably maybe tomorrow if I if I actually do work on it, maybe tomorrow. But so if you, if you want us to see a bit of a sneak peek of my new video, go on my Instagram, look at my story, bit of preview footage there. Other than that, not really anything interesting. We're doing the podcast, recording that tomorrow, so. Yeah, are you on um, you're on thing live stream on you on Friday. Oh yeah, I'm on Greg's live. I, I think anyway, if I, if I haven't been kicked off yet, I'm gonna be on Greg's <laughs> live stream on Friday. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna be doing some epic. I'm gonna be building something on there. Which is exciting. <laughs> this would probably take me like the whole like three times the amount of the stream. Yeah, yeah Greg probably built something that big, so it's fine. Greg didn't <laughs> even finish his uh, his speed champions on the last. Did he <laughs> <laughs> what was he doing? Was he what? Was, uh, I don't know. Just how? Is he like painting? He He's very interactive with the crowd, and that's what kind of that's what's so good about his streams, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. So, Bricklicker, have you got anything? Uh, I'll have the news and leaks first one on YouTube, as always, <laughs> and the podcast on Sunday. It's about it. I don't know what else I'm doing. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh. So, wait, 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 top secret. Yeah, so yeah, the same I'm doing. Um, I've got a city update tomorrow and a minifig Friday, which will be Harry Potter again on Friday. And then I'm on London Bridge Bricks on Friday night. And we're doing the pirate stream on Sunday. So that's uh, for that. So yeah, so yeah, hopefully you guys will catch us on other stuff. Um, thanks for joining in. It's been absolutely awesome as always. And then uh, we'll catch you in the next one. See you guys. Bye. Bye bye, boys. Bye bye. It's just the awkward.